Introduce him first. He was entering his third final and chasing his second IPA world title. Ranked number four in the world. Hailing from Southport, it's the Godfather. Put your hands together for Gareth Hibbert. Gareth, this is the third time you've been in this final. At the start of the week, did you think you could make another final? I did at the start of the week, but not halfway through a couple of my matches I didn't. I thought it was a gunner a couple of times, so yeah, at the start of the week I felt confident, but a couple of the matches were a bit ropey, so yeah, glad to be here. And Jake Dillon, if you know what such a great amateur player is, have you had some good battles with him over the years in the tournaments or anything yeah, else? Yeah, we played quite a few times. We played here, well, not here in the Worlds last year, in the last 64. I drew him in the last 64 and he beat me. So, yeah, yeah, we've had plenty of games. And, uh, of course, you know, you're one of the, the older school, as it is. Do you feel like you are? You know, you keep going on. You've, you've played five matches to get to this final. You just seem to be getting better and better with age. Well, I don't know, Mark, to be honest. I just try and keep doing what I can do. Yeah, yeah. It's, it can be a bit tiring, but you just have to put it to the back of your mind and cue balls. Well, you are in another final, and I'm going to wish you the best of luck. Gareth Hibbert, yeah. everybody. And his opponent. He has played three qualifiers and five rounds to get here, dispatching the number four, at number three, and number five along the way. Hailing from Hull in Yorkshire, it's the Butcher. Put your hands together for Jake Newlove. Jake, this is your eighth match of this World Championships. You should be looking tired by now, but you look as fresh as a daisy. Yeah, I don't feel it on the inside, though. Uh, yeah, just got to keep focus for this match. One more to go. You've played over 160 frames. Uh, you win percentage. I've not really worked any of that out. But, you know, do you feel like you've played that much, Paul? Uh, yeah, it's spread out over the week, though, so you don't really notice it as much. And Gareth, you didn't give me too much away about it, uh, your two's uh, record, you know, between you two. Are you going to give out away a few secrets? Have you got any good wins against him? Uh, probably the biggest would have been last year's uh, Worlds, so hopefully bring that into today. Well, I'm going to let you sit down and then we'll get this final on the way. All the best for this final. Thank you very much. Take a seat, Jake. <laughs> Well, that's the players ready. Let's introduce the referee. It's Darren Maidman. <laughs> so Darren's here now. I'm going to hand over to the commentary box and it's Dan Fairway. Thank you, Mark Pickworth. And it's not just me. I am joined by the fantastic Liam Roberts, who's had a brilliant week so far. Yeah, so far, not done yet. No, Hopefully you're not done all right yet. in the mix. But yeah, glad to be here to uh, start this final with you, Dan. Yeah, no, it's um, obviously we're all looking forward to it. This is the main event. We do still have tomorrow with the doubles and the seniors and the masters, but this is the one. It's what, they, it's what you're coming here for, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And of course, the ladies as well. What a fantastic final. And if this has half the drama of that, then we are in for a real treat here. Yeah, no, I was you were front and centre of the crowd. Yeah, I was one. watching. I was front row. My hands were sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> I weren't even playing. Right then, Liam, it's the question everyone wants to know. What's your score prediction? <laughs> uh, See that spot? I've just put you yeah. right on it. <laughs> I'm going to go. It's first of four, isn't it? First of four, yeah. I'm going 4-2 Hibbert. 4-2 Hibbert. 
Oh, I reckon that's one of the most popular. I've I've asked a few people around the arena in the the gap between the ladies' final and the men's final, and uh, I reckon that's one of the most popular answers I've heard. And I have to say, whoever's going to win this, whichever one of these two it is, they will be one of the most popular winners as well. Yeah. Um, two of the nicest men you could wish to meet. It's going to be Gareth Hibbert. Can he start as he means to go on? He's got a hammer blow of a break. And that one is dry. And that's, well, what an opportunity this is first off for Jake yeah, Newlove. Definitely. The yellows look really nice, but the eight ball is awkward. Um, obviously, it goes in the bottom right, but getting on that is... I don't know if it's possible or not. Yeah, it may go into a couple of pockets. It might go into the left centre or to the bottom left corner. But it's, it, it's getting on it, isn't it? Yeah, and it's tight either way, isn't it? Whether Left centre, if it goes without moving it, then that's definitely the the ball because you've got such a nice ball to land on it with that, that yellow to the left of the eight ball is perfect to get to get on it. it it's tight on that red but I think it probably does pass so if there's no work for Jake to do here then I couldn't really ask for a better opening start particularly on Gareth's break yeah definitely yeah especially off the break because Jake's got a, a cracker break himself, hasn't he? Yes, he's he certainly he's does. He's been breaking really well all week. I mean, truthfully, unless you've got a, a very good break, you don't get this far in this tournament. So, yeah. Little short of pace there for Jake. Going to have to probably pinch a bit of the side pocket. And try and screw back. He wants to finish pretty straight on this uh, penultimate yellow you would think there's the pinch past the red that's lovely so I think it's fairly certain that that eight ball does pass the left centre because if it didn't I think he'd have tried to move it by now. It does also look from that camera angle, that previous camera angle, that it might actually go into the, the left corner, which I didn't think it did at all, but centre it is. It's a good nerve settler, isn't it, this? Absolutely, yep. Just roll the eight ball into the left centre pocket. And Jake Newlove takes the lead. On the Hibbert break, that could be a really important opening frame of the match. Do love World Championship final day. There's <laughs> something really special about it. Um, it's what you've been waiting for, isn't it? You yeah. It's all played down for this. This is your first World Championships as a pro. Yeah. Is it your first World Championships? No, I went to the one uh, last year. You I were here in 23, were you? Well, in Coventry yeah. in 23 then. Um, How did you go on last year? I lost in the last 32. Oh, okay. So I, I made it one step further this time. Hopefully a couple of steps further give it, next give time. Give it, what, four years then? And <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then you, you won't be able to go in the commentary box for the final. I will definitely take that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, yeah. I'd take it in 24 years, to be honest. <laughs> Just, yeah. you know, one opportunity would be... Amazing. Um, and one opportunity for Jake. What what a chance this is for him, let's be honest. Yeah. Um, don't get me wrong, we've all known for years that Jake is class and that the, the amateur tag that he comes with doesn't really necessarily reflect his ability at all but even if he was in the professional ranks he still wouldn't have been one of the names that you'd have chosen to make this final if we're being honest 
Yeah, it's a weird one because I know exactly what you're saying, but he's all you could say. Oh, he's beaten. Uh, he's beaten Farnsworth. Well, we know how good Jake is, so yeah, yeah. of course he can do it. And if you beat Mark Farnsworth in his hometown at a World Championships in the manner that Jake did, then if you go on to win the title, no one can say you can't deserve it. Like, although he's beat top pros and stuff like that, they're also not shock results either. Never, yeah. Yeah, it's not a shock to see him winning anything. And I think we were so, sort of, so expecting. And perhaps that that's our fault, but I think I, was, I won't be the only one who was so expecting Farnsworth v Boyle. Given the way that they have dominated this season. Yeah. I think um, Boyle especially. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But also Mark, you know, in his last tour event here, made both finals. Yeah. Uh, won the won the open event, lost in a final frame to Zyder to Gareth Hibbert in the pro. So that those two were the form players for me. Jake looks like he's on form here though, doesn't he? Doesn't he just? I mean, he hasn't had anything to do just yet. Let's be fair. But th that's the way this game can go. Yeah. You know, you don't necessarily have to do anything special if the balls are coming out for you the way they are for Jake at the moment and it's hard to see anything going too far wrong exactly just take what's there and there you go as he's doing I'm sure nerves will play a part at some point in this final though Gareth Hibbert break stick in hand I think if it goes 2-0 in sets to what one of the players, obviously after the first two sets, I think then it might be, I need this next set. Yeah, big time. And you, you can put unnecessary pressure on yourself, can't you? Oh, oh Gareth Hibbert. This is all of Jake Newlove's Christmases come at once, isn't it? Another golden opportunity. It's a good thing that he's got that free shot because he's, you feel like he's going to need it. Um, there might be a temptation. No, he's not going to do it. I, I was going to say that for me, there would be a temptation to move the eight ball with the first shot and then play the plant on reds. But he has decided to go yellows and as well he might, that's Perfectly good choice. Is that, is that ready to spot it with his free shot? Yeah, that ball sort of in the middle of the table looks like the looks like the one to get on the eight, doesn't it? Yeah. The one in the the one on the bottom left maybe is your second to last shot. Yep, so drift this one into the centre pocket and then it'll be you would think the yellow next to the eight ball. And if this shot goes well, it's it could be frame over. Ooh. Just, just crept in that one. Um, but actually, it's, it's, it's gone a little awkward because where the eight ball is now, he can't really get to the bottom of the cue ball here. So he can pop this one in the in the bottom left, obviously. But he needs to get out far enough that his next positional shot is easy. And that's... I don't know if that's great, you know, because I think he's tracking towards the eight ball if he's not careful. I don't think he'll mind that, actually. I think he might just run into the eight ball instead. And play the yellow into the left centre, maybe. Oh, no, he held it with a decent fists full of check side and that's pretty good I think he can run this through probably just off the red yeah just flick it yeah, there you has. go 
can put that much better with your hand. Nope, this is absolutely ideal, and Jake Newlove is storming through this first set. He leads by three frames to nil. Gareth Hibbert yet to get his hand off the table, or on the table, I should say. What an astonishing first three frames we've had. Now we're going to start a round of musical chairs in the commentary box. I'm going to make my exit. Mark Pickworth is going to take my place. And uh, I'm sure there'll be a couple more changes throughout the night because this is a very long final. But, uh, for now, I'll leave you in the capable hands of Mark and Liam. Oh, good evening, everybody. We've done all the musical chair bits. Yep. As uh, Teth and Dan eloquently put it. I'm delighted always to be joined by you, Liam. It's a breath of fresh air, is, I, is what I call it. All right, it's appreciated. So, I obviously missed the first three frames, um, but wow. Well, yeah, you were you're, you're, it was probably only five minutes ago when you were talking to the players. Jake's romped into a, a 3 0 lead here. Three dishes, and by the look of that break, there should definitely be a fourth. Look at them reds. Yeah, he's, he's, I, don't know. I mean, this guy, he's on his eighth match. He'd think he'd start losing some of his power, but he seems to be gaining it. Is he just getting stronger and stronger by the day? Get stronger by butchering people. <laughs> See what I did there? Are we allowed to say that at uh, before 9am? 9 9 <laughs> <laughs> it's his nickname, we're allowed. Yeah. Yeah, as you said earlier, uh, he's just going about his finish here and just can't see any problems. This red must just pass that yellow. But we haven't got all the pocket to play at, but it definitely just passes, I think. Oh, he's got a bit of hampered queuing now, though. But you just can't see it's going to stop him. I think he, uh, he might be torn him two minds here. He's, he's made his decision pretty quick. Oh, I didn't think that was going in at one stage. But slid in off that far of your in. Just like that. 4 0 to Jake Newlove. Oh, if that's not one way traffic, then I'm not sure what is. Yeah, he doesn't look like he's playing bad, does he? No, <laughs> that's what I mean. <laughs> but there's a, a long way to go in this final. Remember, best of seven sets. Best of seven in each of them. A lot of frames to be played yet. And Gareth, does, has he had a, a couple of chances anywhere? Not really settled? or He hasn't put his hand on the table for a shot yet. Right, he's had two dry he's breaks. Had two, two, well, one dry break and that frame here... Went in off, didn't oh. No, no, sorry. Yeah, the one before that. Yeah. You uh, went in off. Wow. And that's all she wrote for the first set. Well, sounds like he definitely deserved that first set, Jake Dylan New Love. And he is 1 0 ahead. Gareth can't let the onslaught continue. He needs to stop the rot. He's going to have to wait for this shot at least. Jake's breaking off in set number two. He'd love to replicate that last break. And he's made a ball. He's made a few balls. <laughs> Look at he. Oh, just that corner, but has he got an opening pot on red? I don't think he has, has he? Not an easy one, anyway. I think he might play the plant first 
first shot here. Yellow onto the red and he opens up that corner pocket as well, maybe. But if that yellow... Yellows aren't bad either, actually. No, it's just that yellow that's, that's why he's behind from. that red. I think he goes, though. Just looking at our overhead and... Uh, oh, and he's missed it. He's just that. This is exactly what Gareth Hibbert needed. I'm running. Yeah, this is your chance now, Gareth, to get back in this match because with Jake breaking, again, you know, you do have a bit of an advantage breaking off first in the, the actual set format. So we'll be breaking in the next frame. First things first, Gareth, get a frame on the board. Interesting poll. Don't know if you spoke about it on the chat. Fifty-five percent think Jake Dylan Newell is going to be winning this final. Forty-four percent for Gareth. In pen and paper, you know Gareth should be winning it. But let's be honest. I mean, Jake has played some terrific stuff in his World Championships, and he's played some terrific players, hasn't he, as well? Yeah. But you don't get handed these tournaments. You've got to go out and win them. And uh, you know, Jake's he's won his fair few. Sh you know, fair few that he's won before. And you know, we know what record Gareth's got. So yeah, it wouldn't be a surprise if uh, Jake did go on to pick up the trophy the, you know, at the end of tonight. Have we ever? Have we ever had a two-time champion? No. So Gareth playing tonight for uh, to be the first. Yeah, for the first one. No one's ever retained it, and no one's ever won it twice. <coughs> Just shows the quality that does, doesn't it? I think so. I think that's the best way of explaining it. Yeah, it's, def it's definitely there. It's just always tough, and I mean they they are mentally draining. I mean if you, as as Jake has started on Tuesday, I mean luckily for yourself and the pros, you don't start till the Thursday, do you? Yeah, so exactly. It's two days less play, and which means four matches less. You know, so uh, yeah, it can be. Of course, it's not it's not easy in the amateur section either. Yeah. Some some big names, and of course pros for next year as well which still play in that section Gareth will be wanting a better break than his last two. Just wants to make a ball and keep the white ball on the table. And he's done just that. First thoughts here. Just Although they're quite open there, it's not an easy finish, is it? Yeah, everything's in the way of each other, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to need some developing. Could make an argument for yellows and playing the plant first shot, which looks like he's doing. Everything's in the way, so it's going to be hard to control the cue ball or the outcome of a ball that he makes contact with as well. So all that's got to be taken into account for this clearance. Yeah, once he clears the top half of the table, it's straightforward then, but he's, you know, he's got to get the cue ball in the right position to do that. 
There's not a lot of room. Nice little shot. Just nudging that out. I mean, if that goes to the centre, there's an argument that he could just take that and drift back down. But the uh, yellow just below the ball line hasn't got two pockets. So that, this is a shot. A bit close to that cushion again. Yeah, looks like he's going to have to drift down to the table now, isn't it? Yeah, it's not the first time we've seen him done that today. You know, he does seem to keep the cue ball close to the cushion at times. Yeah, he just believes in his ability every time. He's not going to, you know, put a, a missed pot in, you know, because the, the percentage of balls that he playing pots are, is, is incredible. Yeah, it's quite a good shot that is actually. You might have a lot of players might have been tempted to play that yellow into the centre, but he's left this and he just has to stun it in, stun it back a touch. There you go. Absolutely creamed it, Annie. It's perfect. Couldn't have queued that much better. Ah. And coming off two cushions. Make this black ball into the right centre. Very, very easy. And with one frame, comes two. 2-0 two now to Gareth Hibbert in this second set. He won't be breaking in frame number three. But he's got to feel a little bit better after that one. Yeah, it's all when you see uh, Jake Jake's dished off his own break twice. It's nice to get one on the board yourself, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. It doesn't look too flustered just yet. I mean, if it does go to the, you know, I'd like to say level, level towards the end, who's your money on then? It's all, for me, it's always been down to momentum. Yeah, and if somebody can reel off a few frames, the momentum swings really means a lot in these long races. Yeah, definitely. Of course it does. I think if it did got if it did get uh, quite tight towards the end, I think although Jake is very experienced in himself, but he's never been experienced in a in a world final where Gareth is. is it, he's been in two, hasn't he? Yeah, is it? yeah, he played two. He's won one, won the first one he was in against Craig Marsh and then lost the second against Liam Dunster in 2022. Wait from Jake. There's a bit of work here for both colour sets. The way he's controlled that cue ball, I mean, it nearly got knocked around a little bit. Oh, it's on the table still, that's the important thing. Got an easy opener, just this, this cut back yellow. Yeah, concentrate on this one, it's not straightforward. Easily done. Oh, I suppose the question is, is them two yellows on that left-hand side, Liam? Is it planned? He might be able to make it, and if he plays it at the right pace, he's, he's going to give it as much chance as he can. Yeah, you expect him to clear one of these um, in the middle pocket here, and then that'll open up the other one. Looks like he's going to cannon into one of them as well, so he don't want to be in this too hard. He wants to try and avoid it if possible. He has avoided it. He's tried to go into the two That's yellows. And oh, what a great shot. Done all the hard work now in this frame. Just needs to make sure he finishes it off. Yeah, 
it seems to have got enough angle on this one on the bottom cushion so see this one is a problem lifted up table skidded a little bit yeah that'll do Nicely done. Nicely controlled as well. Seems really relaxed out there. Jake Dillon, new love. Like he's playing his practice match. Well, in all fairness, they both do. Yeah. Gareth hasn't made a f made a mistake yet. Don't we know when things get a little bit more difficult when the, the last frames approaching, and if it's close. It makes it even more difficult. We saw that in the ladies' final. You know, it's so hard to win the first and last frame, and uh, we saw some of that in young Kira Whitcomb. She did just that. How does she hold it together at that age, eh? Incredible. Yeah, a lot of drama there. We're definitely going to be seeing and hearing a lot more of Kira. These coming weeks, months, years, decades. <laughs> we hope so. Yeah, we do. We really do. Balls are flying in everywhere at the moment on this table. Again, though, there's work to do it's again, isn't there? Didn't we comment, commentated on this early, didn't we, with uh, Gareth of its breaks? There's always a little bit of work to do, weren't there? But that one on the bottom cushion, that's the issue, isn't it? Yeah, I think he plays for that now. I yeah. think he'll play the, that with the two reds in the middle of the table, one on the, on the left, down to the bottom. Looks like he's going yellows, yeah. Does that surprise you? Yeah, I think so. Um, if he can get down to this bottom yellow now, because he needs to be on the right-hand side. No, he's not. He's just looking at it now. That's your, uh, I think that's your last ball. But you need to play the one right centre after this shot. Needs it to run, which it has. And that's pretty ideal. Does he have enough angle there, though? It looks pretty straight. So you have to play it with lots of top spin off of one cushion to get back to the other side of the table. That's what he's done. Oh, wow. That's a fantastic shot. Oof. What a gap to find that is. I thought he was playing for the other side, but what do I know? Ooh. I think they both thought he missed that, that eight ball there. But he hasn't. So 3-1 now to Hibbert in this set. Jake to break next. They both look so calm. I think in eight frames there's been seven dishes. It's not a bad standard, is it? 
No, it certainly hasn't. And the one that uh, it's quite ridiculous. The to one be that didn't get the uh, dished was the the one where Jake fouled on his opening shot. Wow. And Hibbert <laughs> took him out after that. Great shot. One of the best shots in this match so far. If not, it's definitely up there. Jake breaking off. Trying to keep in this set. Still balls flying in it everywhere. This could be a bit of a dish fest, this. Especially if the table keeps playing like That's this. That's exactly what it looks like so far, doesn't it? That's a perfect opener for Jake. Landed on probably his toughest ball out of the lot of them. landed a bit awkward there but he doesn't have to do anything with the cue ball so just drift past that red yep back into position Very impressive from both players so far. Shell and Pays. Shell and peas. The never clearance. Gareth's break again. Hoping for another big one. Yeah, you got to say, probably needs it. Really does. But the way it's Jake's really breaking. Working. These are important moments in sets, aren't they? The timing. It's just everything's got to go right. Yeah. I was saying uh, to Dan previously, when, when you go two sets down, it might creep into your mind a little bit. Yeah. And that you think you need definitely need to get this set. And you can put unnecessary pressure on yourself. With the experience of with Gareth, I, d I don't think he will. But there might just be that thought. So he's hoping for a big one here. Good Power's good. Balls are still flying in everywhere. How about that one for a break, Liam? Yeah, it's, it's not bad, is it? <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Well, is there any balls left? <laughs> They're just flying in at all angles. I mean, there's a choice of both core sets here, uh, but 
the yellows, would you? Yeah, First I think the yellows look better. I mean, they do because there's less of them. Um, but is it the right set to take? You'd think so, wouldn't it? It's just when there is only a few balls, you, you, you're pretty much playing ball by ball, aren't you? There's not, never going to be a, a selection. I think your problem ball here is actually the one in the by the black spot. He's on that now then. Is that is that what the, the one? I mean he is on it now, but he's also on all of them. It's fair to say. Because it's one that you'd like to take if if you were slightly the other side, you'd like to screw it back for this one now. He's obviously made his mind up, hasn't he? I mean, this is awkward queuing. Not sure he wanted to be there. I think he'd love to uh, could be able to come round here a bit just so he could, you know, draw it back into the red or yeah. something like that. I, I still think he can do that. But he's going to have to do it with a bit of apparatus, isn't he? The spider, I think. Being a snooker player, you'd expect him to, you know, be able to do this type of shot. He has done it. He's nailed it there. Yeah, very well controlled. Sometimes shots with the spider and the rest, pool players obviously aren't used to using them as much because you you don't really need to on a pool table. But obviously Garrett's experience. Yeah, he, uh, he's fine there. And this is for for one all. Yep. And another dish. <laughs> <laughs> this is easy to commentate on this. Oh, this like commentating lot. looks easy, isn't easy. it? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be surprised when one of them misses a ball. <laughs> well, there's no signs of any of that yet. I mean, if this continues, this incredible standard, this is... We're going to get an early night. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant standard, but one set of piece. Does you think that really, you know, does it deserve to be one set of piece? Yeah, where the play's yeah, gone. Yeah, I, I, I think so. There's, there's literally been one. Well, uh, technically two mistakes as uh, Gareth break went straight in off into the corner pocket in the uh, the first set. But the uh, shot from Jake where he fouled on his uh, on his opening shot. They're yeah. the only two things. That haven't been balls potted in this whole match. Incredible, isn't it? Incredible start. To the IPA World Final. Been ten frames and one missed ball on your opening on your opening shot. It's not a bad uh, it's not a bad standard, is it? No, it really isn't. No one thing as the it gets closer towards the end. That's definitely gonna get more full, isn't it? A few more seats will start filling. That's what happened in the ladies. Uh, the next I mean it started off really well with the the cheering and the walk ons and all that, which was great to see. And then towards the end, wow, that must be an incredible feeling there isn't it, for Kara Whitcomb. Yeah. I was uh I was made up for uh, for Benny Dorian. He was sat next to me, Kira's uh, Kira's dad. Oh yeah, what a great guy he is! As well, I think I said this earlier. Spoke to him last He's night. The yeah, you did. Number yeah, one did. fan. Yeah, he was in tears. Bless him. Oh th yeah, and rightly so. Jake, he's got his corner filled with uh, expertise there, and he is he. There are his experts in there. Is he getting a bit of coaching from him? Is that allowed? <laughs> <laughs> I bet it's a tough one for Dean, this is, you know? Yeah. He, uh, he he's plays he's in normally sat in that chair, isn't he? I, I don't... Uh, I mean, in terms of who he's supporting. Yeah. He, uh, he plays in the way... Missing uh, in on the, the fence, is it? He, he plays <laughs> on the uh, 
on the uh, England he's been, he's A team. Yeah, he's been world doubles champion exactly. with Gareth Hibbert. With Gareth Hibbert, and he's a uh, current teammate in the England A team with Jake Newlove. So oh, it looks like he's sitting more towards this is. He's sitting more towards Jake's side, isn't he? Yeah, but I don't think he's even looked at Gareth yet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they must have fell out. Well, look at his head. Was that the evil eye then? Oh, I'm not sure what was going on. <laughs> nah, they're not them two. Definitely not from Gareth anyway. Absolutely brilliant guy now on off the table. The Dean's not bad, is he, either? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's okay. Good characters to have around the tour, aren't they? Yeah, I think, uh, well, all the pros I've spoken to this year, there's... There's not been one that's been, you know, that different. That's not like <laughs> that. Had not had the time to talk to me. Oh, oh, good. They've all had the time to talk to me and welcome me in, which is uh, it's nice. Yeah. We, yeah. Well, you know, we might get a bit more nastier now. You're in, into your first year there. Cheers, mate. <laughs> no, we're, <laughs> <kidding. laughs> we're not nasty around here anyway. So kicked in off the Liam a little bit unlucky as well I mean it was tracking towards the corner but it just got forced in into the, the pocket so I mean you know if he, Jake does clear again it's another clearance isn't it and the way that these are opened up there's no reason why he shouldn't be clearing these up yeah I think that red still drops into the left centre nice enough I think he would have wanted it a bit more in the open but it shouldn't be a problem. Might have heard a bit of a smash there. Uh, I think the crowd's getting a little bit rowdy. <laughs> but it's Dean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's Dean. Yeah, there's been a glass broken. If you did hear the, the smash. no one's injured easily done now there's been a lot of people in this arena today in and out Several people just wandering around lucky you can even see in the background there Pete obviously people aren't by the stage watching it but they're definitely keeping eyes on the match well, they're definitely here. Uh, they'll know what's going off. I mean, with the outside scoreboards as well, that always uh, keeps people up to date with everything that's going off. That might be perfect. And it is. Not sure these two know any of our words, do they? It's, uh, the way they're playing at the moment. Well, Dean's not even watching now. No, he's not on the phone to Gareth either, is he? A little bit short of pace. Probably the loosest shot we've seen Jake play yeah, so definitely. far. He can just swing through with a bit of left-hand side and screw Ooh. off of two. It weren't easy, you know. And it got down quite swiftly and you know made it look like it, it was easy. A rare miss there from Jake Dylan New Love. Look how surprised we are. I know. <laughs> wow. With them shots, you've got to, the timing's got to be so right, hasn't it? Yeah, and in all fairness, he it didn't rattle or anything like that. He missed it by a little bit. You seeing the first sign of a, a few nerves or the lack of concentration, I think that's the best way of explaining that one. Yeah, I think it might. Have, I think it was probably more the shot before. That was uh, the lack of concentration. Yeah. And he's left himself a tough ball there. And uh, Gareth's got these to uh, make Jake pay, really, isn't he? Here he is. I mean, this is the uh, the last set before the interval. We'll have about 10-15 minutes. 
this can really turn into a long match. I mean, it's been a very high standard one, that's for sure. Hasn't been long so far, has it? Now, what time do we kick off? Just after half eight. I mean, wow. Some going, isn't it? Yeah, this is the uh, the 11th frame. Yeah, they're not slow players, are they? Yeah, lovely touch there. I've never heard the clock even beep. Have you? <laughs> I tell you what, I never even thought of that. I think you're right. Well, capitalised on that mistake from... Well, that missed pot from Jake Dillon New Love. Yeah, there you see it. He's one ahead in this third set. Started off losing the first set, four frames to nil. Then won the second, four, two. Now he's ahead for the first time in this match. It's the thing with these sets, isn't it? You lose the set four nil, you're one nil down. Yeah. You're not four nil down like you would be in a in normal play. It's what makes these set fo formats really exciting. Yeah, and it's what, 6-5 currently to Jake? In frames. Yeah, exactly. And technically, he's currently losing the match, isn't he? Yeah. He keeps saying, long way to go. Frame two. Jake Newell up to break. Trailing one frame to nil. Time running. Ball's bouncing everywhere, but the ball's bouncing in pockets as well. He does get a lot of power, doesn't he, Jake? He's definitely been working on his break. Yeah, you've seen the cue ball, how high that jumped as well, yeah. didn't you? He almost jumped off the table after bouncing back on the table. That cue he's that using. It's definitely uh, some piece of kit, that is. Yeah, I've seen on his break cue, he's, uh, he's got one of them clear tips. Oh, right, okay, tips the on one that goes over the, the actual top of the yeah. cue, yeah. He uses that. And obviously it looks like it's working for him. Yeah, you don't change something that's working. So it's definitely working for him. Bit unfortunate here, landing that. Oh, he's still being attacking. I think if this red goes into the right centre, it's, Gar it's Gareth's frame to lose, really, because then three yellows at the top uh, aren't very nice at all, especially after Jake's just nudged them. They're dead, aren't they, really? Jake was forced into... Yeah, oh, there is some beeps yeah, there out you there. Go. I think that's the first shot clock we've heard. I thought they're broken. <laughs> I was about to call somebody out to it. Get the maintenance man down here. Yeah. Gareth's problem ball there by the eight ball. What, don't want to leave that to your last shot, really, do oh, you? that red gone? That's also now a problem. Mm. Very, very nice shot that is from Gareth. It's actually such an easy shot, but it it's very, very effective. That's a very good shot from Jake also. He doesn't want it to be touching, though. Doesn't look like it is. Now Jake's got a shot on this one into the the bottom right hand corner. Which I think he has to take. And 
that's a great shot from where he was. Right in the jaws of the pocket. Just knocked it in like it's over the hole. Look at that, I'm not sure about that tip really. This ball. I don't think he'll mind it so much. I think after that he's just going to play the one on the left over the pocket. Yeah, it's, that's not a bad outcome for Jake there. Play to uh, definitely pot it. You tell he, he, he did because of the pace he played it at. Is he just trying to tie it up a bit more or knock it onto the cushion? Just trying to hide the cue ball. Well, where's the cue ball going? Where has it gone? As John Virgo would say, <laughs> Where's the cue ball going? <laughs> Bit of a disaster that for Gareth. I mean, probably hit it a bit too thick, hasn't he? Yeah, it's a it's a silly mistake, really, isn't it? Yeah, there was plenty of room for it, and any kind of error there. Again, just seeing a couple of errors creeping in. You know, just proves that they are human. I'm not gonna. Too critical of him. Key shot here is the one to get onto the eight ball. I think you can play the one right center. Oh, it also goes into the bottom right, so just depends which way he wants to go here. By the look of that, he's going to play it into the right center, I'm guessing. That's what he's looking at. Shot. Is he okay? I think uh, it's a cut back in it. Looks thin. Yeah, I think he's uh he's all right. I think he can screw it into the red just to kill the cue ball. Nicely done. Levels the frames. He's set number three. And a layoff for Jake, really? Yeah, it was. You know, he missed that ball in the top corner, and yeah, started to see some errors just creep in. Well, again, you know, Gareth returned it by making an error. There's that cue yeah, you that mentioned. Tip. So what you, what do you say he's got on? I mean, yeah. From the sides, it's uh, when you look at it, it's clear. It's like see-through. Oh, I see. Okay. Let's really show the that clearness coming through there yet, does it? Not. Either way, it's a very effective Definitely cue. Very, yeah, it's, there, it's uh, very, f very effective. Have all the pool scientists now uh, getting on the chat, wanting to know what it is, asking us. So, Gareth. Oh, oh I just want to. I thought there was going to be a dry break, and we're listening for the pot, and there has been one dropped. First glance at these, though, Liam. What do you think? I'm not sure. I'm glad he's used it used his extension. It gives me more time to look at it as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think that's why he used it. I think reds at first glance, but there's not really an easy red 
on first shot. A ball into either middle pocket, maybe. Hampered queuing. Hampered queuing on one. Another cut back on another. Yeah. It uh, really seems that way, doesn't it? You feel the best shot to play is the one over the middle, isn't it, for the red? But just electing just to try and keep control of the table. There's nothing wrong with that. No, not at all. Because, uh, but that yellow, the middle part of the table, below the ball line, is tricky. Yeah, he doesn't want to. He didn't want to miss the red and then leave Jake the, the nice reds to finish. So he's elected just to stay at the table. Be a big finish if he gets these. You're obviously looking at the yellow onto yellow plant next. But he's still going to have the issue with that yellow in with them two reds. Does he feel that he can play a two in one shot here? Just makes that pot even harder, doesn't it? Yeah, you don't want to be hitting this hard, do you? You just want to play at a pocket pace. Well, he has. And he's got it. But has he tied up the other yellow? I think he can get the one in the top right hand corner. Yeah, he can get the one in the top right hand corner. The As you said, the top left. Him, he's looked at this twice now, so that is mighty tight. He's come around. looking at it again I think he's decided it goes yeah well maybe just find slide out. in off the jaw maybe any contact with the red it would have slid off but he's potted it very cleanly looked like it flew by didn't it oh it went easy A nice take on yellows this it wouldn't have been the the shot of choice for Gareth but <coughs> he uh now I said at the start I mean we we'll took him well nearly had a dry break and we didn't really see a clearance from the start even you were an extra 30 seconds just to yeah, <laughs> work out how it I'm went glad I got so two one now he needs in set number three we're gonna have a bit of a change over here and I know Part two of musical chairs. Yeah, part two of it. Dan Fairway is going to be seeing out this match till the very end. So love and I'll leave you all, and I'll uh, see you pretty much at half time. Thank you for that lovely introduction, Mark. And uh, Liam still sat next to me. Trusty co-commentator. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I saw you getting jealous in the chat. Uh, earlier. I, was, I was listening to you uh, in the in the commentary, and you said Deb's your favourite. I'm not salty much. I just dislike you now. <laughs> 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 Look at that slow mo replay of that break. That is an enormous hit. I love seeing the spin on the the cue ball as well. You see it slow up. Yeah, Jake has underdone this. I think by a considerable margin. I is he on the, the yellow to the left centre? Or does he have to play this as a plant now? I, th I think it might just... He's loading up with side, so I think he's just trying to chip it in with a bit of side. Yeah. But there is a problem, yellow. I don't think he can get into it just yet. 
he's sort of running out of time here to do so. Can he screw across into it now? This would be a big shot. If he... Oh, off the back of the red. That's wonderful. That shot can go wrong so oh, many times. Yeah. You can go into the red first and leave it by the yellow. Yeah, if he, if he clipped the red on the way past, then it was probably game over in this frame. It, uh, it would have been really difficult to see a way out. As it was, it was a terrific shot. Just keeps up to theme with the, the standard of this match so far. Yeah, we'll have another look at that as well. And as well we might look at that. Silly, silly stuff from Jake Newlove. Like if he clips the if he clips the red thick, he might be okay. But the way he's playing it, he's playing just to miss it. So if he clips that thin, he's tying the yellow up even more. Just well, makes the shot so much better. A marvellous finish from Jake Dylan Newlove. This is awesome, this shot. It, it It's actually it's even better than it looks to grip yeah. the cue ball like that and, and rip it back into the side rail first it, it just misses 100 the red played for as well like that is absolutely how he intended that and a little tap of the leg there from gareth as well nice to see You said it to me privately when I came into the commentary box, Liam. This has been an awesome standard so far, this final. And based on that evidence, it's just getting better and better. We are in the third set. To all. Could be a pivotal set. There's going to be a, a little bit of a break after this set. We'll, we'll go to the studio. Um, but because this is a best of seven sets... These matches can be incredibly long. Um, you know, depending on if things start to get tight and tetchy, you get the odd 10, 15 minute frame. Then these matches can go on for hours. So we, we give the, op the players an opportunity to take on fluid. <laughs> yeah. Like even in the, the first of three games that we've had previously, there's still been matches four hours five hours yeah exactly so when you go best of seven and you, you're adding a another potential 14 frames yeah um you know in theory this it obviously can't at this point because the two sets in and one of them was four nil but in theory this can be a 49 frame match which is not to be sniffed at Gareth here, obvious problem ball, is the one he's looking at. Does this slide past? Oh, it does. It does. That's a result. I didn't think that went. So, the obvious problem ball wasn't a problem at all, and now there are none left. You would think this would be yet another finish from the break. Yeah, just, just like the the tenth dish or something of the match. Oh. Uh -oh. And I think I'm wrong. I think it's more. <laughs> Astonishing. Astonishing stuff. Yeah, this might be like the twelfth. But are we talking? Oh, that just slow down a bit because Gareth's so finished. Are we talking too soon now? Yeah, he's finished very straight on this. It looks it, doesn't it? To the point where he might have to top it through and take that yellow into the bottom right, or top right, sorry. Really tricky one. Your pace has got to be fairly nice there as well because there's not so much room. I don't know if he's got any angle that he can sort of pinch it a little bit and stun to the side cushion. No, he's... He's gone up. This has got a bounce. Oh, and that's very good as well. It is. Is it? Is it a bit too much angle? I think. I think he's fine there. Yeah, it's, 
he's going to have to leave probably a thinner cut on the black than he'd like. Or do you think he can run it down off the, off yeah, the bottom rail? Yeah, the bottom rail. He's just, uh, yeah, I think, just I think left the thinner cut. I think that's the right choice, really. Sensible. A lot can go wrong when you're, you're making things harder for yourself. Tricky little eight ball, this. Finds its way. Which, of course, it does. It's 3 2 to Gareth Hibbert in this crucial third set. I've said all the way through this tournament that I think the, the third set is the most crucial. I, that doesn't quite ring true in the final because yeah. it's a best of seven. I, I, it's quite hard, actually, because. Well, obviously, with the first and the second set going one either way, now it's like your standard match again, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's almost a, just a restarted normal yeah. world championship. Yeah, then first match, to three. It? So going off the logic, the next set might be the. But I think in the the final before the match starts, I think set three to five is huge if it goes that far. And do you feel like whoever gets to three first? has got to feel like that's a huge opportunity. Because yeah, then, I you know, I your, uh, your opponent only needs... Your opponent needs both remaining sets. You only need one. Yeah, not that you've got a free go, because you're obviously going to play it exactly the same. But oh, oh another my crunched break. Good Lord. Yeah, not bad. Is no. it? Not bad. Just the four reds. He'd love to be nicer on one. He's not. He's gonna have. I think he's gonna have to take yellows here. <laughs> Two reds flying into the top of the table. Three of them went in that left centre pocket. I think he might be playing that. The red. Uh, the red into the centre and uh, maybe play it with a bit of bottom right, go between the gap of the yellows. Risky. Check it back. It's risky, this. Looks like what he's going for. There's an in-off in play here if he comes half ball off that yellow. There's Ooh. an in-off in play. Well, he... Ooh, and that's not good. It's awful. And it's what... I'm so surprised he didn't go yellows, to be honest. They all go. Whereas the red, it was a really awkward first shot. Really difficult first positional shot. What does he play if he can play anything here? He's playing the swerve and he's trying to pot this, but my word. Off the cushion. If it might hit this. the cushion as well. It's a good hit, but it, it leaves an open table of yellows. And Jake will be sat there now looking at this table and going, well. Why didn't I go for them? These yellows are so simple. That's that's literally your only problem there. The two yellows. Yeah, but even there. then, when you if take you, the you one move, on the balk line, yeah, if you move that one, they go. They go. Exactly that. And this is for the set. Oh, well, they definitely go now. What so a lovely good. shot. <laughs> that's so so good. Just missed the yellow on the way past. Just judged to perfection, isn't it? This will hurt Jake. Because he will feel... You know, the, the, the simple fact is that the way that this game's been going, and the way that these two have been breaking, Jake may well have lost this set, regardless of whether he took those yellows out, because there's every chance that Gareth comes to the table next and dishes up anyway. But it, it's an opportunity, and it, it was a big opportunity to pile the pressure on Gareth, because when you go into the break, it's 2-1 either way at this point. And I bet that the sort of half-time orange, if you like, will taste a lot sweeter for Gareth Hibbert than it will for Jake. Well, this is the best outcome for Gareth going in after the third set. If he, if he pinches this set, he's 2-1 up in sets, and the set he lost, he got dished four times. Yeah. Yeah. 
the best outcome you could hope for. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, for Gareth to have had that first set and come out 2-1 up, be delighted. <laughs> and it looks like that's going to be the case. Just like that. Well, it was easy, and, and I think Jake will look back at this later if he watches it back and, and think, yeah, should have gone yellows there. I don't enjoy watching a match I lose. Well, he hasn't <laughs> lost it yet. <laughs> he might that's win it 4 shout, 2. Yeah, that's a very good shout. But either way, it's Gareth Hibbert. How's it going? Yeah. Goes into the break. Two sets to one up. Um, thank you for joining us in the commentary box for this first half of the match. Liam, it's been a pleasure. I no problem at all. Yeah. Thoroughly enjoyable first half of this IPA World Professional Pool Championship final, sponsored there by Pure Organic Drinks. I think I've probably only been here for an hour or so. Yeah, it's, it's been, been that quick. It's been quick, hasn't it? It's been rapid. It has been rapid so far. And well, will the second part of the match follow a similar script? Will it be a bit more of a war of attrition between these two great competitors? We will find out soon enough, but before we do, let's head back to the studio. Dan Davey is with Mark Pickworth. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Liam. And uh, I'm joined in the studio with our very own Dan Davey. Dan, is that what you expected, really, you know, with that final? I mean, it's been a pretty high standard one, let's be honest. Really high standard. Um, yeah, like, well, the first set was perfect pull. Four breaks, uh, four first visit clearances. Jake cleared off both of his breaks. Gaz had a dry break and got kicked in off on one of them. So, I mean, Jake, you know, any, any, any kind of... Um, thoughts that Jake might freeze on the occasion because this is his first world final were, were, were complete nonsense. Um, started queuing like an absolute dream. And to be honest, he, he hasn't played badly since. It's just Gaz has up to a level and actually got his hand on the table. Um, there's been a couple of mistakes from Jake, but he's, he's played very well. It's just that Gaz has come into his own and wasn't flustered at all by losing that first set, 4-0 uh, in all of about I think 15 it minutes. think ignited him a little bit, losing yeah, that probably. first set 4-0. He's so experienced as well. This is a third world final. He's so... Um, he, he's so... Uh, like cool and calm under pressure, Gaz. And um, you see a couple of shots here, like that one in particular. I mean, wow. It, it, OK, he ran slightly out of position to, you know, to, to get to that point in the first place. But he... Um, He's done a couple of clearances, in particular at two each in that deciding set, where he's just had to be pinpoint with his white, slightly ran out of position, and and when he needed a big shot, he, he pulled it out. And I think that is often the difference in these big finals, is the two or three kind of clutch moments in a match where you really need to to, to pull something out of the bag, and, and, and Gaz has done it. Um, pretty much every single time so far. Yeah, even this clearance here, I mean, it weren't really going to plan, but, he, you know, he still found a way to clear uh, it. I, I know, and, and, and Jake's just throwing everything at him. Um, you know, obviously the first set, he was he was f literally flawless, played perfect pull, but he's dug out a couple of really good clearances himself, Jake. They're both breaking very well, so they're getting opportunities from the break, and, and, and you're seeing plenty of breaking finishes. This one here, I did maybe think that, that Jake could have gone yellows there. Um, that, that shot first up on red is really difficult when you're jacking up up against the cushion. If you've got your hand on the table, I think I think fair enough. Um, you can back yourself to get uh, to, 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 to play that kind of delicate little positional shot. But I think there, the shot clock affected him a little bit. You know, he might have been under a shot he's, clock he's pressure. Got, he's got, I mean, pretty much everybody's got less experience than Gaz when it comes to main arena stuff and, and shot clock. So... Possibly, yeah. If if Jake had a bit more time, maybe Jake would have gone yellows there. I don't know. 
I mean, I was looking, uh, I mean, I did the comms in the very early part of this match and uh, I, I, I noticed that, you know, for me, Jake seemed to, he generates a lot more power off the break. Do you think it's something that he's been working on? I mean, we, all, we always recognise Gareth as one of the best breakers in the game anyway. But I think it's uh, timing. He yeah. times the ball so well. He's not actually hitting it. Uh, it probably applies to, to, to everybody that breaks really well. They're not hitting it as hard as you think. They're just timing it really well. Um, and therefore they get the kind of explosion of the pack and it looks like they're hitting it really hard but actually they're just creaming it just 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 timing it really really well yeah but see Jake there he's, he's not actually he's not actually swinging his entire body into it he's, he's he is just a, it's just a really controlled punch he's in it hard mm -hmm. don't get me wrong but it, it's just a controlled kind of like I say like punch same, same with Gareth, um, and because they're, they're they're catching that front ball so flush, it looks like they're hitting the ball way harder than they really are. That's yeah. the art of breaking. Yeah, yeah, it is down to timing, like you say. But you know, every time that they do break, balls seem to fly in everywhere. Everywhere. I, mean, I don't think this table's playing that easy, I is think, it? I think th there's an art to it as well, which I mean, it is is the quicker the table, almost the the, the more you can get away with taking a little bit off. So you've got more control, and actually, then it probably is easier still to time it. Um, you're probably not going to give the top guys giving you giving their secrets away, you know. But I think this this mainstream table does does play a little bit quicker than the rest, uh, and you have to adapt to that. But they both had they both had at least one match on here. Um, I know, I think Gareth might have had two before this, but they both played the semi-finals on, they both played a match on this table today. Yeah. So I'd be surprised if they're not used to the table and how it's breaking by now anyway. Uh, what's it, an interesting fact, I mean, you know, it's always a, in, in a lot of people's debates about the cup break and the head-on break. We're seeing two players here that's hitting that ball head-on and they're absolutely creaming it every time, aren't they? There's balls flying everywhere and flying in. And, uh, does that, is that really an indication that really you should be in the mid on or no, is there arguments uh, for both? Arguments for both. Everybody's different. Uh, what works for one doesn't necessarily work for the next guy. Um, it's just one of them, you know. Look, it's like a kind of black ball shootout. Some people uh, queue up to the right. Some people put the cue ball to the left. Whatever works for you. I mean, if there was, if there was a, a, an answer and a magic you know, a magic uh, envelope people could open to get the answer. You, you know, someone out there would be a millionaire, but you, um, it, each to their own. Sometimes, the, the Mark Boyle's got the best cut break I've ever seen, but it doesn't... The power, yeah. Now and again, he does He does have a few dry breaks <coughs> in the road, do you know what I mean? He chopped the white off the table yesterday. Um, some tables, you do see Liam Dunst as a good example. He'll actually, uh, I've seen him change um, mid-match to the front ball smash. It does happen, but I mean, these two guys, they're, they're, they're front ball smash kind of guys. Well, here yeah, from Dan, I mean, we'll come back to the match on that. But, uh, just wanted to give you some news. Obviously, it's World Championships here in Newcastle, Gosforth. You know, it's been a very successful one, and uh, we're definitely going to be back here next year for the 2025 one. Them dates, they're going to be out in a couple of weeks, so make sure you keep an eye on our social media pages or our website, ipapool.com. I know we've just started to get on TikTok today, so uh, again, just keep an eye on our social media pages, and we'll uh, we'll give you all the uh, IPA pool links that IPA to all pool of that. Tour IPA on TikTok. pool talk, at IPA TikTok, pool tour yeah. on TikTok. Yeah, yeah John has just started Loads that today. A little, on bit, there. little bit of content. Yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. I know the guy that's going to be helping you guys doing it, and he's got over three hundred thousand followers. Bags of experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, um, there's going to be plenty of exciting stuff on there. So follow and follow and like that, and you'll um, if you like your pool, you're going to see plenty of that stuff coming. Yeah, and of course, you know, this World Championships here again next year. If you you know if you've been watching over the course of this week, still more action to come tomorrow. By the way, you know, you know, you feel like you can mix yourself with the best. You know, you be able to get your entries in as soon as we announce the dates so also tour dates they're out there five weeks time dan i mean just let the audience know that, uh, about some of them venues that we have i mean th this hotel here in in Gosford is 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 superb isn't yeah it? yeah well, we've got two here uh two in coventry um which is a great hotel as well and obviously then you've got the grand finals which is um like a festival of pool uh, and the isle of man uh it's on the 
I think it's the, uh, uh, the hotel is the only hotel on the island that's got a casino. Um, loads of entertainment on site, casino. They've got like restaurants like within the hotel that are actually like proper ones, not not just a you know a hotel kind of restaurant sort of thing. Just a great venue. Everyone loves it. You normally get there a day or two early, make a little mini holiday of it. Um, we had some good fun this year. For the yeah. first time we did the festival for last yeah. season, didn't we? I mean, it was brilliant fun. Everyone thoroughly yeah. really enjoyed themselves. Yeah, you normally get there a couple of days early, do a little last man stand. I think that was actually the first time that we saw Kira Wickham, wasn't it? Yeah, the first she time did, I remember, yeah. Um, yeah, I remember. Seeing Kira. And she was making upsets all over the yeah, world, yeah, wasn't she? She, she did, did a last man stand in one frame thing. You remember thinking for a young, for a young kid, I think yeah. 17 at the time, thinking she can play. All of a sudden, you know, uh, <laughs> within a year, she's won the world title. Yeah, she got recognised yeah, yeah. there. And uh, obviously the tour dates, they're going to have a bit of an international feel next year because, you know, last season we saw that the uh, the IPA, we've gone into a, a world league, so there will be some international feel in the pro ranks next season. How do you feel about that? Great, yeah, it's good. Um, Maltese and Moroccans at the moment, obviously still waiting for news on some visas, but at the moment, definitely yeah. the Maltese and Moroccans. Yeah, but yeah, I think I think you underestimate how how good some of these um, some of these countries are. We've seen some of them on the stream. Seen you them, know, the brilliant. Yeah, no, no, We've no. Seen the Maltese. No, yeah, yeah. Um, Malta, to a very, very strong good nation. Standard. They've got they've got five or six uh, elite, like very very good players. You saw Yeran Attard. Um, it's just one of about five or six of them that that uh, are, are potential sort of um, tour tour winners, in my opinion. So yeah, more the merrier. Um, get them all over. Get them on board. Um, yeah, great, great addition to the tour. Yeah, I mean we're still hopeful for some of the African nations and that. Uh, I mean Morocco, all. obviously the you know. Yeah. Um, is it Amir? Uh, Riyad Ab Abdelati. Abdelati, yeah. Abdelati, you get in yeah, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get you get in there, mate. For the sixth time, lucky. No, um, Abdelati, you got to the quarters. Uh, I, I, he beat my, my quite a good friend of mine, Dean Shields, in the last sixteen, and uh, I was speaking to him about it, and he said he had, he, he just broke like a god, and, and and you know he's a, he's a, he's a proper player, you know he's not just someone that had a decent run, he's very very good, and he's not even the the Moroccan that I knew about. I mean, there's more to come. And talk about the ladies' elite. That's going to be growing next year. We only got eight elite players for last season, but that's going to grow. Hopefully, with some international feel about it as well. We're still, it's still at an early stage. I know we're only five weeks away from the tour, but there is a possibility of that. And the elite, you know, we're probably going to grow to 16 players. And uh, Kara Whitcomb, she's going to be one of them. What a statement she's made here in the World Championships. Yeah, the Luke Littler of ladies, Paul. Is that what you... I did say that, yeah. Yeah, you said yeah. that. I can see the... Oh, come from nowhere, literally. I mean, I think everyone knew that she was a, a very talented player, but seemed to play with a, 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 a sort of carefree approach and smile on her face. And um, probably as a younger player, hasn't got all the battle scars of having, you know, all, 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 the, all the close losses in tournaments and stuff like that. And maybe that carried her over the line in the end, but... Yeah, what an addition. Yeah, and tonight, you know, we're going to see two world champions come. We've already seen one in Carol Whitcomb. Mm. Who's going to win the next one? That's going to be the question. That even there's going to be four more tomorrow, mm. isn't there? With the mixed doubles, the men's doubles. Then we're going to have the seniors, then we're going to have the masters. Probably not in that order. I mean, no. it'll all be down to scheduling, etc. But there's definitely a lot more pool to be played, especially tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I think. I'm reliably informed that Gaz Hibbert's still in a few of the other tournaments as well. He's pulled out so the seniors. Has he? Uh, okay. Yeah, just down to probably Fair I don't enough. know a bit of fatigue or what. He wants to win the Masters. He has. He's never won the Masters. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, okay. Um, I think he's still in the mixed doubles as well. He is so with Biff. Yeah, they're yeah, yeah. battling away. So Not sure how many rounds behind or wherever, no. at what stage they're at, but uh, they are, they're, oh, they're there. They're about. He's got a busy day tomorrow, but um, I'm, I'm sure he's not going to be complaining. Especially if he um, takes down the title tonight and uh, wins his second world title, um, yeah, it's going to be a either way. It's going to be a profitable weekend for him. Yeah, just a quick one then, Dan, just mm. before you go. Yeah. So obviously the players are back now. Referee's ready. Yeah. What does the player have to do to, if he wants to pick up this title now? I, I think Jake needs the next set. I can't see Jake coming from three-one down uh, to win this. I can't really see many, if any, players coming from three-one down against Hibbert in a world final. Um, so I think Jake really does need this next set. 
uh, uh, otherwise I worry because because Gaz doesn't look like uh, he, look, he's ran out of position a couple of times and recovered it. He, he just he's just cool as a cucumber and um, looks calm, looks looks unflustered, looks experienced. We know he is, but he, he's playing like it. He's playing like a guy that's been in three world finals and won God knows how many pro events. And, you know, he, he's, he looks really comfortable out there, which is ominous for Jake. And, um, yeah, I think Jake just needs to, he needs to produce something special. OK, well, thanks very much, Dan. And I know you're running off the comms now, mm -hmm. but I know who else is in comms waiting for you. It's Dan Fairway. much mark yep give it a go musical chairs again Liam has left the commentary box did a sterling job and, uh, Dan Davey is going to make his way over from the studio as Jake Newlove breaks off in the fourth set of this match once again He's timed the break really rather well. Makes the ball. And has left a reasonable looking table, but it is a little bit messy. Over there on the right hand side. First thoughts. Turns of reds, but Red to the left of the eight ball. He's not in an easy position. He's got the red in bulk, which is also food for thought. And while the two over on the left-hand side would plant, I think you'd have to make that. For that reason, he has gone yellows and he's missed the double. Dan Davey has sauntered his way into the commentary box. Sauntered? Yep. Okay. We'll take that. Just something different to say, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> uh, Jake's yep. up against it, isn't he? He is. Um, but having said that, we're... You know, Jake's... We're, we're on serve, if you like. Jake's broken off first in this set, so in theory he's got the advantage. We're not... Not far off. And actually, Jake missing that double probably hasn't hurt him necessarily that much because he's left Gareth the same problems, yeah. essentially, that he himself had. So very whichever way you go, there's there's issues here. Very true. Very similar table. Um, didn't really solve or create an extra problem. No, but Gareth has just solved a lot of the problems mm. in one fell swoop. The eight ball's still a problem forget sometimes just how clever um, a, p a player Gareth is he, he's, a, he's a proper all-rounder doesn't just dig himself out I, I think he's notorious for for leaving himself difficult shots and backing himself little distance shots that other people or balls down the cushion he'll just land on them and back himself to make the big shot but he's also a very clever player he's 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 he hasn't really got a weakness, to be honest. Had a bit of a result there with that yellow flying in as a skill shot. Tricky though. Leave the, uh, leave the pocket open for the red in bork. That's a terrific pot. Mm -hmm. But it is... <laughs> all he can do now, really, you would think, is play on this red to the centre, screw back out, and try and leave an double. angle or leave the eight ball for a double yeah I mean he's gonna if, if he can screw back out over to the the left hand side of the table um, there is a chance if the cue ball's on the line that it's on now that he could he could just top it through and, and, and bump into the to the black if he wanted to but I think on these tables with uh, the, the the way that I think Gareth plays I think he'll probably just take his medicine and leave himself a double it will depend what sort of angle he gets see for me now he's gone too far to leave this as a double potentially 
Yeah, a little bit too far, yeah. I mean, look, if he gets right behind it, is it impossible to drag it into the middle? Probably not, but... Um, bit of a dilemma. He was looking at top left just then, and that is... I mean, he's got to be very precise, but you can see why, because the natural angle... I mean, if he can get round the back and maybe go into the back of the yellow on the right-hand side... Look, he, he can double this if he wants, but it, it, he's just got to make sure he gets the cue ball out of the way. The the double kiss is a big possibility here. It, it is. I feel like if he plays it fairly gently, he'll probably avoid the double kiss. On the double, and, and he's nailed great, the double. Great shot. It's these big pressure moments where he had one, I was just saying to, to, to Mark in, in, in the studio, he had one at two each in the last set. And he kind of ran out of position. It was a tricky, it wasn't really difficult, it was a tricky clearance. He ran out of position, had to play a real pinpoint positional shot to get into the, uh, onto his last ball, um, into one of the corner pockets. If you've been watching, you'll know what I'm talking about. And he just nailed it. Left himself a missable one down the cushion, but it didn't even touch the sides. Them clutch moments, like, where it's really, really important. There's a lot on it. He just seems to always come up with the goods, just, just look so calm under pressure. Obviously, Dan, Jake is someone you know quite well. You've spent a fair bit of time with him, your England teammates. Um, you've been sort of backing him for this for, for a couple of rounds now, haven't you? Particularly since getting past Mark Farnsworth. Yeah, look, backing him in the sense that I want him to win. Um, I'm under no illusion that I knew, I think, he was second favourite to win this final. But... Um, there's probably only three or four players uh, in the entire event that weren't going to be second favourite against Gareth in the final. Yeah. So, but yeah, I believe Jake could do it, and he started the match in well some fashion. You know, four perfect frames, won the match, won won the first set in a, all of what twelve, thirteen minutes, something stupid like that. He's good enough, Jake, but it <laughs> Gareth's just so consistent. You kind of just know what he's going to you're going to get. You don't get any silly mistakes from Gareth, ever. No. Well, I say ever, everyone does sometimes, but he's so reliable and consistent and he's just, you can start off like a train like Jake did, but you know that Gareth's level is going to be very high and he's a tough nut to crack. I mean, I remember Gareth's performance against Liam Dunster in the 2022 final. It was amazing. And quite frankly, it was almost an injustice. Um that Gareth had to lose that match. And Liam had to play perfect pool, almost. And he did. For about three hours yeah. to, to, to beat Gareth. I remember Liam broke and cleared seven times in a row. Yeah. And Gareth still clung on to his coattails. Yeah. It's hard still enough took to that match to 4-2. Do, do you know how hard it is to, to just pot off seven breaks in a row? Yeah. <laughs> Let alone clear off of seven breaks in a row. Uh, it was something special from Liam that, that, that it took to beat Gareth. And... Um, that's probably the best performance I've ever seen in a loss in a final. Yep. And it pr probably will be tough to, to, to top. So he does bring it to the big occasion, Gareth. Yeah, big game player. Just overrun that one ever so slightly. Probably have to... Well, will he swing this round off two cushions or hold it with check side? No, I think, yeah, a bit of run inside. There we go. Swings round off two, and of course he's perfect. Of course he is. I think, um... As, as good a performance as it's been has been from Gareth, I think Jake will have silenced a few doubters with that first set victory in this yeah definitely I mean even if he goes on to to lose this match there's a long way to go yet but even if he does and Jake's only going to grow in confidence I think I know him quite well and I've been speaking to him quite a lot he has kind of struggled in the past with letting his head drop yep. when he makes a mistake in a match and a crucial mistake or a crucial error that cost him a you know a, a, an important frame 
um, in the past he's kind of his head's gone a little bit and stuff and but he knows that and he works really really hard on his game and um, he knows that he's got far better than that uh, far better at that um, in the last year or two especially I said to him in the semi-final you know he, he should have gone tuning up in sets and didn't it was so impressive the way that he then won the third and fourth sets uh, whereas the old Jake in my opinion might have allowed himself to for the frustration to kick in and and more mistakes might have followed and he might have lost that match but uh, you know just showed a real mature side to his game where he's um he's just turning into a bit of a machine you know he's he's very cool calm collected himself these days now, big moments for Jake here two nil down in the set feel like this frame is crucial if he's going to avoid going 3-1 down Perhaps a little unlucky not to have come out with a nicer table from his first break in this set. And then, let's be fair, Gareth taking out a monster. This time, I feel like it's better news for Jake. Quite a, quite the inviting table on reds. Mm. Yeah, very good. This set's far from over. I mean, the last set against Andy Crowsdale, I think he was 2-0 down. And you see how quickly sets can turn. You know, you get a couple of this level. They're playing this well. You break in clear, and Gareth has a dry break. You can be at two. You can be back at two each, and almost favourite for the set within five minutes. Not the, not the ideal positioning for the cue ball after that shot. The red closest to the balk line will go in the centre, so you'd think you'd just dolly this one in and then do the same. I think that's that's, I think that's really good. That's perfect, I think. Yeah, it looks it looks pretty straight, this. Yeah, but it can it can now just rest into the black and uh, hold the cue ball there. And he's still got a fairly simple red down the cushion. Which also makes the black easier to access. So just needs to concentrate on nothing but the pot here. Key shot, absolutely nailed. Again, cool, calm, collected. Not going down without a fight. Jake did a new love. It's been a wonderful stand up so far this match. It's a great stand up. Great final, this. I would love to see a, a. I mean, I'd love to see deciding set, deciding frame, but. Deciding set would be nice. Yeah, this place would be heaving. We saw what it was like for the ladies' final. Everyone crowds around when it gets, to, when it gets tight in the match. Jake said to him before, you know, he just he feels like he's free rolling after beating Mark Farnsworth in the quarters on uh, home turf. You know, it's uh, it, it, it kind of it does, like you say, prove the odd doubter wrong, and especially in this format, if you can beat these elite players over such a long over such a long race, it um, just puts puts to doubt any people that maybe think you're not quite at that level. Oh, he's, he, I mean, no one should doubt that now. Nope. Um. I think the more you realise and watch, um, we've seen some in, in like next level consistency of pull from Mark Boyle these last six months. Yeah. Like, like actual ridiculous, you know, cue ball on a string, just all, all the big shots kind of thing. But. Stop the presses. Stop oh, well. the presses. A dry wow. break has appeared. Wow. And look at these reds. You might have a slight... I think he's got to take the one he's closest to that's on the bulk line now, but if he can, these reds are nice. They are. They're really nice. But yeah, you, you see Mark Boyle, the level he's played to this year. And um, they're all human. Do you know what I mean? Um, he's cutting this red in first. Thin little one, that. Just about. Cheated the pocket. Just about. 
Sorry, Dan, you were saying. No, no, just you see the level that, that someone like Mark Boyle this year, for example, or Liam Dunster possibly the year before, yeah. along with Mark Farnsworth, have played to the level of consistency, but they all have bad matches sometimes. Anyone that knows their pool properly knows that, you know, it's, ooh, it's just about got away with that, I think. Knows that, you know, um, you are going to play the odd bad match, the odd bad shot. And for, for me, someone like Jake's got all the ability in the world. He just needed to maybe not be too harsh on himself when when something goes wrong in a match and just put it to the back of his mind. And I think he's gone that next level recently. And um, especially kind of showed that in this tournament, you know. I mean, he definitely has now. If he hadn't yeah. before, then he has now. Um, he's just I don't care position, yeah. who you are or what you say. You do not get to a World Championship final on don't the know. IPA unless you are absolute top level. Yeah, not this format. I mean, they're, they're long matches. They're, they're a minimum of a race to 12. Yeah. You know, which and all the tours and stuff that you might play on, you don't have that level of... That, that 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 length of race. He's running into trouble here, he is, Jake. Yeah, it, I don't know if the natural angle he can just swing it around too if he plays this with a better top and avoid the knuckles. Yeah, I think I think this is okay, but it's awkward queuing. He's, well, he's screwing it. Screwing it, so. So he wants to catch that yellow full ball, really. No, Tell so you what that'll do. Yeah, he's no he's, he's played that deliberate he's come across and Wow, this is a test of queuing. He's run out of position here. Look, he's taken he's taken his medicine. He doesn't have to do anything with the cue ball here, though, which is good. No, no. But he's got to knock this up the cushion with a bit of stun. Wow, oh, wow, wow. Shot, Jake Newlove. Jake. Jakey, Jake. Oh, that's monstrous. From from he's made a bit of a hash of this one, but the best finishes, in my opinion, almost always are ones you've made a bit of a hash of. Because he's come out the other side smelling of roses, and he's tied this match up. Look at this. Or this setup at two all. Smooth queuing. Really smooth under pressure. If he does go on to win this match, he will remember that shot for the rest of his life. Yeah. He will remember that clutch moment. 2-1 down in sets. Could well have been going 3-1 down in that set. He'll remember that shot for the rest of his life because he'll watch it back. Obviously, of course he will. And, and he'll course. remember that shot. He'll remember that feeling. It's Jake's break next. He's been breaking well. well what did I literally just say? Uh, about five minutes ago. You know, Jake breaks and clears. And um, if Gareth breaks dry before you know it, you're back to two each. And in theory, Jake's slight favourite for this set because he's got two breaks. Yep. How these matches can turn. Just looks calm, doesn't he? Looks in the zone. Looks like he hasn't got a care in the world. Another good break. The cue ball has finished close to the bottom cushion, which is often a problem. In this case, it's not a huge problem, but it does mean that he's going to have to go yellows, and there is a very awkward yellow at the side rail. Yeah, very awkward. It doesn't go into the corner pocket either. Um, I mean, it goes long into the top right corner bag, but... Oh. The thing is, he... Even if you're right behind that, the, the sort of middle jaw comes into play and it's yeah. such a horrible it shot doesn't to play one along the rail. It doesn't double in the middle either because the red's the in the way. I, th so. I think he's going to have to come down table and leave an angle on the one yellow the near bottom the left. bottom right. Uh, or the bottom, bottom left. Bottom, bottom left, I think. Yeah, uh, you think? Yeah, would love to. This could be good, you know. I was just thinking if you sort of ran into the, the eight ball... Push it up it's the rail and into the... It's a harder shot to play, though, isn't it? It's a harder shot to play. If he... I, th if, I think if that would have run just another inch, he'd have been perfect on this one. That was what he was playing. As it is... No, he's, he is playing it. Maybe he's trying to cheek the pocket. I mean, even if he gets into the eight ball now, if he moves the eight ball, at least the yellow goes. Yeah. Is he taking this down the rail? Well. He's tempted. 
I think he's tempted. He's right behind it. So if ever there's a time to go for it. If you play it, you've still got the little cut back next to his hand there as well. So, so if you play it and don't get it and leave it in the jaws, you're still leaving Gareth with a problem. Like now, Gareth's still got a problem there. He does. Uh, look, he's got, he's got <laughs> two balls near the right I, middle. I feel as though Jake's overhit that a little. I feel as if... Um, I think he, he was, was trying, trying to get to it behind the black. Exactly. He was trying to leave the cue ball behind the black so that Gareth didn't really have a shot. He maybe. has still made a problem, but is it a big enough one? Yeah, and maybe, maybe the right thing to do was to go full blood in and give the pot the best chance yeah. by playing it softer. Yeah. But I'm not sure. I'm still not sure Saturday now what I'd have done. So I'm... I'm I'm definitely not saying it was the wrong thing to do. I no. can understand both. Yeah, it's got an interesting dilemma coming up. Because I feel like he needs to move that red. He's probably going to have to do it off his last or penultimate red. I think we'll see him play the red off of the yellow. Off the yeah. cushion. Yeah, cushion first. Um, roughly half or quarter ball off the yellow. Play it at the right pace. It's not actually that difficult a shot. Softer you hit it, the more chance you give in the pocket. I think if you if you go into it now, you, you you are trusting to luck a little bit. You could you could go into it and push the red behind the yellow. Anything can happen. But if you just land on it now and play cushion first, it, it, your destiny is kind of completely in your own hands. At least you know you've got a shot. Yeah, but it's 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 in your hands. Yeah. If he he can play this shot correctly and it, and and it will go in. Uh, if he plays that cannon. There, there is an element of luck involved. But only needs to catch this thin. Only wants to graze the yellow. Oh, right. that's too thick. Too thick. Too thick. Too thick. Almost quit on that a little bit. Mm. Not something we're used to seeing Gareth Hibbert do. Obviously, he's got the pocket. What can Jake do here? I mean, I say it a lot, and they very rarely do, but I'd be... The skill is on there, if he can get behind it. Oh, Dan. It's exhibition stuff, is it? Whoa. I mean, that'd be some shot to play. If you're right behind it and you're in an exhibition, yeah, you'll probably get that I, far I, back. I think, I think if you're right behind it, yeah, 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 all look. you've got to do is hit the yellow onto the red full ball. It's not actually as bad as it looks. You make it sound so easy. All I'm saying is, uh, he had a chance to get right behind it. Mm. He doesn't necessarily have that now. No. And he's playing a big shot. It, it, at least it gives you a shot. Well, I think he wanted to leave himself slightly off straight there so he could screw up into that gap. Maybe disturb it. So he's got another problem now. Because he's kind of committed already now to, to going for this clearance. Yep. Do you screw back and... Uh, Jake's such an attacking player. I mean, it, There's other players so that would screw back there and just try and bump the yellow over the red. This could still be a safety. Because at least Cushion if first. you cover the pocket he's for the eight ball. He's going for glory, Dan. He's going for glory. Oh, my God. He hasn't, has he? No. no he hasn't. So what do you do now? Do you do you play the safety now? No I choice. I feel like you've got to. No choice. I mean, look, the up and down the up is and down's covered. Covered, covered by the black, isn't it? So... And even if you do get, even if you do, do get the red, you're uh, you're not left an easy block, no. are you? So he can play this into the cushion with a trace aside, and he's highly unlikely to miss the red altogether. Don't know if the white could squeeze by, maybe, but um, hard, hard. I don't know. I'm I'm not so sure that Jake's a massive favourite for this frame. All on this shot. This is absolutely nailed. 
How is that still there? I thought when Gareth's cue dropped to the floor, <laughs> the thud might knock it the in. The thud might do the job. Well, what a big shot now for, for Jake, the other new love. There is no safety here. No, because... You, you leave the up and down. You, uh, yeah. He's getting it, and it's, it's actually a little bit of a fiddly safety. you just got to cut this in. You're not getting a better chance than this. No, this Full-blooded Jake. One of the biggest shots of your life. Eyes on the yellow, that's wide. You overcut it. It is wide. Looks on, disappointed. Not the best shot, that, from Gaz. About as bad as he could have left it. It's, it's a, just a, a fiddly one. The, the good news, I suppose, is that it's not an in-off, at least, so he doesn't have to do anything with the cue ball. I say this so often, though. I just These are the ones that Gareth just seems to knock in time after time. Is he going to knock this one in? Yeah, you just, bet he is. Just cool as a cucumber. 3-2 to Gareth Hibbert in set number four. See his partner Viv in the background there. Yep, warming her hands. Well, looks warming a bit. her hands together. She can't quite watch fully. Probably more nervous than Gareth is. I mean... Oh, he don't care. Everyone looks more <laughs> nervous than Gareth, <laughs> don't they? Yeah, <laughs> he does. Just qualify that for a second. He definitely cares. But he doesn't look like he cares. Seems to have... Uh, I think, actually, for both of them... As we speak, they both look like they're a combination of focused but very calm at the same time. I think um, Gareth always has that focused yet calm. Yeah, the demeanour, yeah. Yeah, almost to the point where he looks disinterested sometimes, but he's not. He's just in his own little bubble. Massive break for Gareth. Would love to finish the set off here. Jake praying for a dry break. He's gone enough, has he? No. So close. Nearly. So close. But no cigar from a Jake Newlove point of view. And I think Gareth is on this yellow next to the eight ball. He is definitely on it. And actually. I mean, he's made four balls off the, the, the off the break. So much for a dry one. Just if if he takes that on now, he's got to get the cue ball back out, and it, it's sort of going into the eight ball. It's not. I think he can nip it enough. Bit of bottom right. I think he's fine. Just about shaved past it on the way back. And now he's perfectly on the one to the centre, and this is the set. Yeah, this it, is the set. It's ominous, yeah, it does look like does look that way. I think the red the middle of these three reds at the top of the table, that does fly past the um yellow, sorry. Middle of the three yellows does go past the red into the top left corner pocket, so it's uh, hard to see what can go wrong here for Gareth. He needs to leave himself the right angle here. Doesn't want to be, um, wants to be uh, slightly off straight. So would love to be, uh, needs the cue ball to be, that's it, exactly where he's sort of lining up there. He's getting his margin of error. Does not want to be the other side of it, so. Short is fine. That is perfect. Yep. Simple stun shot. Makes it look so easy. One more ball for a 3-1 set lead for Gareth Hibbert. There it is. Do you think his heart rate's got above 60 yet? Nah, 58. Similar to his age. <laughs> Probably. 
I mean, we know he's in his 50s. I'm not actually sure of... Early 50s? Yeah. Just like I said before, I keep saying it, like a fine wine just keeps getting better with age. And I was chatting to Clint Hansen on the way up here, and uh, the current world champion, and um, he spoke about, you know, w w what he feels like he's going to see. He said, oh, I reckon I'll be fine till I'm in my mid-50s. You know, and uh, he, he gave Gareth as, an, as a great example. So Clint was kind of saying, Clint's 36, he's my age, saying, like, I feel like I've got at least 15 20 year, 15 years left maybe even 20 it, uh, um, if we're <laughs> it's something that I've thought a lot it's not a young man's sport this no not to really to be honest there's not many there's some great youngsters out there there are some really really talented youngsters out there don't get me wrong but when you look at the list of players within these tournaments all the time um Clint and Liam are the only two of the sort of big five that are under 40. Yeah. And Clint's the wrong side of 35. Yeah. And you've got Mark Farnsworth in the seniors, Mark Boyle in the seniors, Gareth Hibbert in the seniors and the masters. Yeah. You know, so... I, I don't think... I don't think pool players peak until they're 40, honestly. I think it's... Um, I think it's a... <sighs> I heard a couple of snooker players say about um, about when the end, end of their career came along and uh, Phil Taylor with darts. I mean, he went until he was 59, didn't he, I think? Yep. World Something final. Along those lines, he was yeah. 59. But it was more the, the practice that they needed to do. They weren't kind of fit enough for that. I mean, what a shot that is. <laughs> I, I, I know he was... I know he was guaranteed a colour set anyway, but he, he deliberately wanted both. He wanted the choice of both. Yeah. But yeah, um, it's more more a physical thing of how often they can practice. You know, and it, will their body allow them to play five hours a day like a lot of these darts players and snooker players feel like they need to? Whereas with it, with Paul, I think I think you can you can get away with. It's less demanding. Less demanding. You you, you play two hours a day for me. But everyone's different though. Everyone's different, but. For me, if I were to play two hours a day, you know, four days a week, I would feel in great touch. Yeah. So, Simon Ward's the example, isn't he? Yeah. Hardly picks up his cue. Mm. The other Just thing to remember, talent. though, is pool players are liars. Yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah. When they say, I don't practice, do you know what I mean? They're Just take it with a pinch of salt. Yeah. Then half whatever they say. And, uh, although... I'm reliably informed Simon Ward is one of the exceptions and he actually is telling the truth. Although we're only reliably informed that by his mum, are we? <laughs> uh, the other Welsh lads as well. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah, I've done a bit of digging. The other Welsh lads as well, he... Uh, Dan Davey, investigative reporter. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I check his chalk. Every time I see him at the tour, I'll just take a little picture of his chalk. See like, how much has gone... If anything, sometimes it looks like there's more chalk than the last time. He's buying a new one every time just to fool you. He's going through a whole block of chalk every time. That's how much he's practising. There we go. No, that's a good point, actually. Liar. This has been a class finish while we've been rabbiting on, by the way, from Gareth Hibbert. And it's he's just not letting stuff. up. This is an astonishing performance but when it, you think about it. it. It's it's just pinpoint stuff. Like Jake's not going to look back on this final if he does go on to lose it and and, and be disappointed with his performance, which is great for him. But he's just he's just up against someone at their very best. You know, he's he's got everything. He's got the composure of that that clutch shot in a frame that he just needs to take the extra ten seconds um about. He, he he won't make a wrong decision, Gareth. He's you know, I think um <laughs> you're gonna be you're gonna have to do something special here, Jake, to to win this match. I said before I think um Jake really needed to win that fourth set uh, otherwise it was going to be next to impossible and he did have that he did have that chance at two each in the fourth set although it was a difficult one he did have a chance he's had a couple let's be yeah. fair to yeah. Jake like Jake has you know everyone always says oh I, di I never had enough chances to win the match or I only missed one ball but actually that one ball gets you an extra frame and that extra frame stops your opponent winning a frame and 
Well, and it creates more pressure. Yeah. For your opponent. And, as well. and he has perhaps just at a couple of crucial moments, mm. um, three two in the last set where he went red instead of yellows. Yeah. Uh, sorry, not in the last set, in the third the, set. The third set, yeah. Um, yeah. And and perhaps those moments have just released the pressure that's on Gareth Hibbert and allowed him to just play his best stuff. But but how relentless has Gareth been? Like, it says them big moments. You see it with tennis players a lot. It's all about the big points, and there almost isn't there almost isn't a statistic for that. You see it with darts, you know doubles percentage and, and 180s and stuff but there isn't a stat for really important darts for really important points there isn't a stat for that Yeah. if there was Gareth would be flawless um, in this match especially great chance this here for Jake to get off the board or on the mark or off the mark or on the board been a long day set number five I don't think there's a person in the building apart from Gareth Hibbert and Viv Rusko that doesn't that want doesn't Jake to win this set doesn't want Jake to make a, a go of this yeah. there's probably even a sick part of Gareth that would like this to go to a deciding frame yeah. and for him to pull something special out and win it in a more spectacular way <laughs> you're, not, you're absolutely not wrong Jake's Jake's obviously chosen red in this frame, and this was always going to be the key shot, and he has played it beautifully. But this is still missable. This is a really, really tough shot into the centre pocket. The pace has got to be perfect. This is horrible. Didn't touch the sides. That's impressive. Well, I've used the term cool as a cucumber a few times for Gareth. Start using that for Jake. Great finish. It looks like he's enjoying it, you know. He's he's not given up. He's just you've, like you've got to, haven't you? Even regardless of the match situation, if you're not enjoying this, then you're not human, or you're taking it not too seriously. That's not the right way. I but think you like, you've got to let yourself enjoy this moment because this is the biggest stage you will play on. Yeah, and he's he's just won himself a load of money. Do you know what I mean? I know Jake personally. He's he's a regular guy with a regular job. Um, hasn't got rich parents or anything like that. You know, he's just a just a regular kind of guy, and um, it, he's just going to be really happy deep down that he's done this, what, done come this far, and and had a great week. But um, uh, it's not going to change the fact that he wants to win. Um, but I think he does feel like the pressure's off him. He does feel like that. He's played like that as well. I mean, yeah, I agree. He hasn't shown. You wouldn't say that any of his mistakes have come through pressure. No, no, no. Um, not, not because of the occasion. Yeah. You know, e everyone, everyone sometimes feels the pressure of a match and a difficult shot down the cushion or whatever. But Gary's flirted with that corner pocket off his break so often. Yeah, but he's also flirted with making mistakes, and he just doesn't seem to. He's been brilliant, and he. And he's got. He's got an opening yellow here. He's very straight on it. Yeah, it's a, a little bit of a, a, you know, what does he do? Does he try and play it with a bit of reverse side and flick the yellow out that he's closest to? Can he play the yellow off the other yellow into the middle? Does he want to do that? Yeah, I don't think so, because you're pushing that towards the red. So I, I think he's got to take the sort of highest of the yellows first. Hmm. Um, Does he just dribble this one into the middle and then c can he play it long? In, is it a big pocket into this bottom right corner pocket? Maybe. He'll know better than we do. That's Yeah, that's possible. I think if the red's touching the knuckle, it's much more difficult. If the red's just a tiny bit away from the knuckle, then it's... Like now, if he's right behind that. If that red's just slightly off the knuckle, that probably squeezes past there quite comfortably. I feel like that's what he's played on, and yet he hasn't walked around the table to look at it. So no. it's either that or a double, because I'm pretty sure that pretty sure the left-hand yellow the doesn't corner. go in the centre pocket. Well, he, he has got also a thin cut into the corner pocket. Yeah, that's what he's playing. This is very thin. 
And he's missed it. Missed it. He is human. He does make the odd mistake. And not only that, it looks like a, he's got good cover there, but I think no, the I'll red that's on the cushion will play off that yellow yeah, and free open, the pocket. So open. this is a great chance for Jake. 100%. 100%. He's uh, just needs to play one really good positional shot to get himself up the table. I think now's the time. Now's the time. Get up there now whilst you've got other balls to, to bail you out if you, if you can't. Try and get up on that back cushion now. Yeah, because you want to take the the one that's on the cushion first so that you've guaranteed a shot on the right-hand one. He won't be able to do that. He'll have no, to no. take the right-hand one first now. This is fine. This is all part of his margin of error. If he comes short, he can play that one down the cushion first. Yeah. If he comes long, he can play the one on the right-hand side first. This, is this the key shot? You feel like he's got to punch this a bit. Just to get the cue ball off the cushion. I think he probably wanted more angle so he can I play this a bit so softer. Too. Yeah. And that yeah. was always the problem. Yeah. Now then, what have you got? Doesn't double. Treble in the middle. It's a big pocket. I mean, he's, he's not got the most horrible angle. Is he looking at the treble in the middle? I think he is, you know. Called his extension. Well, look, look, I mean, what what kind of positional shot has he got? He can play the one into the bottom right corner, quite an easy shot, but he's going to have to play a miracle positional shot to get on it, so why not go for the treble in the middle? Shot this. Oh no, that's Nowhere not near. even close. Nowhere near. Expected more slide, I think, off the second cushion and just yep. didn't get any. No. Um. I feel a bit harshly done by, but I think maybe if he'd left himself a little bit more angle, he could have played the dislodging of the ball over the corner pocket a little bit softer and it might have come away and not, not come back so harsh off the knuckle. I agree with that. It's a nice shot from Gareth. How many times you said that today? Now, this isn't fatal for Jake just yet. Because this was a frame that Gareth was expected to win. He made a ball off his break. Of course, it is, it is Gareth set in terms of breaking first. So I suppose you could argue there is the chance that it's out of Jake's hands now. This frame, this frame could have been his one and only chance to get back into the match, but there's a yeah, way to go yet. Yeah, exactly, and I mean... To win the match from... So, f you know, from 3-1 uh, down against someone playing that well, you kind of feel like you are going to have to take every single chance that comes your way, and although... That wasn't, he hardly missed a sitter there, Jake, but he had a chance in that frame. And No, and it's su it. it is such fine margins, but like we said, he finished a little bit straight on the one on the cushion. Mm. You know, he, he could have overhit that shot. He could have had too much angle. It would have been better. Yeah. There's the trophy. Yeah, playing for the... IPA Professional World Championship. I would say the most coveted trophy in, in Blackball Pool. If he can just nick this set, Jake, it's going to just put a completely different feel to this match. Controlled that cue ball beautifully off the break. Yeah, what 
as he left. He's been rewarded quite handsomely there. Yeah, I think he'll take this. Probably. Love to be on the, the top red. The one that's furthest into Bork. I, I'm not convinced that he is. No, but I think it will be reds that he takes. It's a decent little route for him here. Everything goes, even the two reds that are sort of together in the middle of the table, they will both go into the middle pocket, so maybe just a case of one quite precise positional shot. And he wants to leave himself an angle here where he can pop that red in bulk and just run into the yellow. Yeah, just get it out of the way. And that is spot on. Yeah, playing this with a bit of run inside just to arc the white a little bit, just that's absolutely perfect. Now I think if you get this shot right, land on one of these two reds in the middle pocket. In fact, you, you haven't even got to. You can land on them last if you like. Yeah, he's yep. done it. Well, he's got multiple options. I mean, he's on. Perfect. He's on everything. <laughs> That'll do. Yeah, he's on. He's on the uh, the top of the two in the middle now, which is ideal. That'll do. It's going to be a quick fire finish for Jake. And one that he needs desperately. Mm -hmm. Just uh, this way he looks. Yeah. Doing little shots like that, just having the confidence to play the cannon so conf uh, so kind of assertively. Oh, he's got away with one there. Yeah, that was an interesting choice of shot, but we'll we'll let him off. Well, he was just playing through the gap, and he's got into it a little bit too much, but careful with your hand, Jake. Perfect. Yeah, don't do that again. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Two each. Two each. This match is far from over. It is, but it does rely on a little puff of the cheeks. something happening on the Gareth Hibbert break. Insurance. You would think. It relies on a Hibbert miss, that's for sure, of some description. It does. Yeah, look, he needs some help yep. back into this game. Because uh, if Gareth Carroll is on playing the way he's playing, um, he might not even get enough opportunities to win the match. But Equally, though, if, if Jake can pinch this set, then it will be Jake to break first in the next set. The, the sort of momentum can swing so quickly yeah. you know we might be sat here in in literally five minutes time crowning gareth but we also could be sat here in two hours time still not knowing well this break will go a long way to deciding that made one. Oh, oh it's got it off that's, that's kicked it off wow wow that's horrible oh it's horrible for gareth hibbert it's jake newlove thinks it's christmas The chances. I mean, the chances must be quite high because it happens all the time. Let's be honest. But yeah, but Gareth is breaking so unlucky. well. So we're going to see from Jake. Clever first shot. Open the frame up for himself. What's he got? What's he got in the locker? That's very good. Very clever. Gets the yellows out of the way. Leaves the reds as sitting ducks in the middle of the table. Feel good about himself now, Jake. Very good. All we can do when someone's playing this well, and okay, Jake's made a couple of mistakes, but he's played well. All you can keep doing is just, just staying calm and hoping that the tide turns and you get a little bit of rub of the green. Yeah. You won't necessarily have to play out your skin to get back into this match if Gareth just has a couple of bits of misfortune from the break. I mean. The first set, Jake won four nil in about twelve minutes. Yep. You know, and Gareth broke dry and then got kicked in off. That stuff can happen again. You just gotta keep believing. Such a smooth cue action, Jake. Silky smooth. Very uh very measured. 
little punch required here on and off the side cushion. Perfect. Not quite so perfect. Not perfect, but right. um, he's on it nicely into the top right. So I think that's where this black will be heading. Yeah, flick she just the flicked the yellow on the way through. It yeah. was a big pocket, but he, knew um, he had a massive pocket there, and uh, he was never going to miss it far, you know, on the on the right hand side of the jaw. So almost impossible to miss that. Dean Shields there, just the England teammate giving him. Of advice. What side of the fence is Dean sitting on? Because obviously the he's got history side. with Gareth Hibbert. Mm. They are world doubles champions. They are. Oh, it looks to me like he's in Jake's corner. I it does, doesn't you. it? But, um, yeah. Geographically. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he said actually to me earlier, I was sat with him for a bit, and he says quite a tough one for me because uh, he'd genuinely be really happy for, for both of them. You know, he likes them both and spent a lot of time with both guys. So he's, um, it, it is kind of kind of win-win and um, it quite, he's going to be quite sad forever losers really genuinely is yeah I think that's fair he didn't tell me where he got that t-shirt from though Dean didn't catch that what's the t-shirt mm, it says Armani Exchange and if I know Dean the way I know him I think I, I, I reckon that's a fake oh yeah 10 quid down down the well, market yeah maybe yeah. maybe 2 for 10 Last time Stavey he went to Bridge Market, is it? Yeah, well, or when he went to Spain, or yeah, something like that. I reckon. Like Marbella, or yeah, 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 probably got uh, might have, might have had, might have had a package deal where he paid like twenty and got some sunglasses in. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. looks classy like guy. Yeah, look, but you know, obviously, um, you know, as long as it, as long as he's happy with it. Perfect. Being happy. Perfect for Jake. This. Yeah, this this could be it. You know. This could be it. I think that yellow does just pass the red into the bottom left corner. So too. Just got to hold his nerve here, and we go to a sixth set. So he's just, just under hit it slightly. So he's having to jack up a little bit, but I think that is absolutely perfect. It must go, otherwise he had the angle to run into it there. Yeah, so yeah. He yeah, it's got to. It must go. Got yeah, to. I think even if he's just got three quarters of a pocket, he's absolutely fine here. We could be going into a six set here. We should be. Just come out a little bit. Doesn't want to... Yeah, I mean, I think he can sort of drag this in or, or, or screw it across slightly and then take the other one to the right centre first. Don't know if that would have been his plan. Oh, he's fine. Is he just... Yeah, he's fine. Here we go. It's for all the world that we're going to... Uh, to a six set, he is alive this and is kicking. Just a tricky little one. You don't want to overhit this. I think he's good. I think he's just good about. too. Just about. It's, um, yeah, it's, he, he did flick that yellow rather close to the eight ball. He did. Almost went wrong. Topped it through. Simple, simple black in the middle. He's alive and kicking. What was it? Five minutes ago, he was he was two one down in the set. And we were talking about potentially it being curtains for Jake Newlove. But he lives. He is well alive in this match. He still trails. But just by the odd set in five, it's 3-2 to Gareth Hibbert. Gareth still just needing the one set. Yeah. Jake needs both of the remaining potential sets. Jake also, by the way, um, uh, lost a couple of stone um, in the last three or four months um, he's starting to get there he says he starts to he's, he's kind of does feel a bit better in himself and maybe he's helped his sort of focus and concentration a bit more as well so I mean all of know. those things have to help really yeah yeah we were chatting he was actually eating a pizza at the time when we was telling us um, about an hour before this match died <laughs> as was I but we, um, well, it's you. hard to be good when you're away at pool tournaments but he's actually um, oh, yeah. you can't expect anyone to keep to their diet on the IPA tour no 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 no. you no. live in a hotel no. your your options are just eat or McDonald's <laughs> uh, for those that don't know by the way um, aside from the interesting info about Dean's 
almost certainly fake Armani definitely top. Definitely fake Armani top. Looks, yeah. looks in it. Yeah, definitely does look it. Um, is Jake's actually a black belt in karate? Is he? Yes. Yeah. So he would be the second martial artist then to win the world championship because Liam Dunster's got some. Is it Taekwondo? I think Liam. I think it was. Yeah, I think I think Liam wasn't a black belt, but he won the European. <laughs> Under whatever age group it was, championships when he was a when he was a kid, just another one of those sort of freak human beings that's good at everything. But um, yeah, Jake plays. He used to play temp in bowling to like an elite sort of like county level um, as well. And uh, but yeah, he's a black belt karate. Do not do not get on the wrong side of the butcher. There he is. Look, look at that. Looks, I can three or four washes, and um, <laughs> that's going to start to change colour. I think it'll start to do that thing where the, the sort of the w lettering cracks. Yeah, yeah. Just starts to sort of peel off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Been, been put on by a yeah. little old lady in Spain with an iron. Yeah. Yeah, because he's not that classy. He wouldn't... That's not him, really. I think Jake's pool tops probably cost more than... Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. Well, they're class, aren't they? They're yeah, yeah, yeah. Proper. yeah. Looks calm, doesn't he, Jake? Focused. Join himself. Free yeah. rolling. As I said, you know, if, if you're if you're making it this far and you're not enjoying it, then what are you doing playing pool? He's free rolling. He is enjoying himself out there. Gareth. He is just making Gareth work for this. And yep. uh, if it's not to be, it's not to be. But... Um, He's smiling, he's a happy butcher. All I want now is a sausage. I'm hungry now, now you said that. A sausage? Yeah, because he's butcher. Oh. Butcher sausage. Okay. I don't know where your mind's going, mate. Do you want the butcher sausage? <laughs> Jake Newlove to break yep. in set number six. Jake with the potential advantage here. Yep. And that appears so far to have turned into an actual advantage because that's a, a superb split of the balls. Crunched. Absolutely crunched those breaks. Did track a little bit towards the corner pocket, but... Either way, he's made a couple of balls and he's back at the table again. Bit of a dilemma. Obviously, he's got an easy yellow to start with. But the uh, top left-hand side of the table is a bit of a problem if you do go yellows. But it is going to be yellows. So... How and when is he going to break into this problem area? He's got the option now, hasn't he? Off the. Okay. Now is he going to play into it off the yellow in the middle? Bit of top and left, maybe. Can he do that? So he's stunning, and he's going into it. Bit of bottom and left. I'd suggest he's probably going to be playing to Cannon the black kind of full ball. Yeah, I, I no, feel he's like gonna he's have a some shade thin on this, but... A little bit, but a lot of left-hand side. Uh, you haven't got to go into it really hard either. you just got to trust a little bit of luck. Catch it as full as possible. Oh, and, and just that like that. Yeah, you're probably going to have some sort of shot on the yellow. That's a great shot, Jake. That just is a great shot. Just like that. Superb. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Real... Controlled attacking pull. Jake, new love.
Gareth still looks very calm. You look at both corners, you see Jake over there with Dean. They seem to be having a bit of a laugh and joke. And Gareth's kind of just in his own little bubble. Um, I don't think I've ever seen Gareth talk to anyone. No, he's he, he's always like kind of during a during a match. No, and, he, and he's a very chatty guy. You know what I mean? He's he's he gone dry it. again. He's gone dry again. Oh, Man, I, I can't remember the last time Gareth had his hand on the table. Something it? is happening. Five here. frames ago. Something is happening. Yeah. The the stars just seem to be aligning right now for Jake Newlove. Yeah. Can he play? Well, he's, he's, he's going reds here, so he wants to bump that red out with his first shot. Perfect. That will do nicely, will it? I think Not it amazing. will. I think it will. Yeah, look, yeah, so, so that red actually does go to the top left, and he's straight on one in the middle of the table up to the top left as well. Mm -hmm. So it's worked out all right. This is good. Is he screwing back now for the, for the red just to the left of the black? Yeah, okay. Would have liked an extra couple of inches there. Like to have been at least straight on this red, but he's he's okay. He's okay. Just a controlled screw. He's just going to have to leave himself a little bit of distance on his next red. Doesn't want to be hamper queuing. <sighs> missed it. Miss? He's missed it. But. Second prize. Second prize. That pocket is now covered. I don't know if Gareth can squeeze the yellow past it or behind it, but... It's a big moment in the match, that. Doesn't look easy to me. Huge moment. He's, he's called his extension, so he's, he's obviously not sure. It's obviously not obvious to him. No, I, d I don't know whether his plan is just to... play the yellow off the cushion and, and maybe try and play it quite softly so that if it's not going in... At least you've got that cover. But if it is, if it does go in, then it's a bonus. Um, and if it does go in, then everything goes for Gareth. So well, he's, he's decided against it, hasn't he? I kind yeah. of feel he's, n he's not going to get a better chance to get. If he doesn't feel like he can, then he, he needs to not it's bother not worth at all. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just want to point out with that shot how easy it is to skill balls that look like. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> it's true though. Oh, how's that flick on the red? It's all right. But, um, I don't think it was intentional. No, he's um, he's chasing this. Obviously, that that yellow doesn't go past the black. Is no, he there's, there's zero about chance, and it it doesn't go in the bottom left either. Yeah, but is he is he thinking about the skill shot? If he can land right behind it as his last ball, that's tougher than the one that I called <laughs> a couple of frames ago. It's Gareth Hibbert. It's yeah, that's of, true. Sort of weird stuff he does. Missed that. Missed, missed that. It. He's missed it. And now look, look. Look at the angle Jake's got on that red. Yeah. To the left middle. I think it to me it looks perfect to come cushion first and into the back of the red and push it towards yeah. the opposite corner. Yeah, a little bit of bottom and right hand side. Decent bit of pace on this. That's good. That is absolute he'll take that every day of the week. All day long. The butcher. When he was in France, we uh we used to call the butcher Le Butcher. Where did that possibly come from, Dan? It just came to me. <laughs> did it? Yeah. In a vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Creative. Hey, well, that's not a great shot. It's not. It's not a great shot. Needs to get as close. He wanted to be tight on this bottom cushion or... or uh, with a lot more angle. Yeah, with a lot more angle. This is kind of... I think he can punch this and perhaps go down behind that yellow on the left hand side. Yeah, it just needs to be. That's okay. Yeah, That's give okay. He can. The shot. Yeah, and, he, and, and it's far enough away from the cushion that he probably feels like he can play this fairly plain ball. Keep 
himself steady. Always a little bit more difficult these shots when you know it should have been much easier. Yep. Yep. Good Perfect. shot. Very good shot. Perfect from the butcher. He has put himself under it in this frame though, and yes. arguably got a bit lucky early in, in yep. the frame as well by covering that pocket with the eight ball. But look, you, you're going to need a bit of luck to 100%. get back into a match like this. And he seems to have been getting it. A couple of dry breaks from Gareth and um, a little rub of the green here and there. And all of a sudden, he's, he's in the box seat to take this to a deciding set. Yep. I just feel like the next time, the next time Jake throws... Because the one he missed in that frame, early doors, was a bad shot. It was a, it was a pretty poor miss. Yeah. And I do feel like the next time he does that, those are the moments when the momentum swing in these kind of matches. Yes, indeed. Um, and he could do with getting this set on the board. <laughs> yep. Obviously. Jake Newlove trailed in this match by two sets. Even by two frames to one in that set. But he is well in the ascendancy here. As he knows himself though from in his semi-final against Andy Crowsdale. A 2-0 lead is nothing in a set. He was 2-0 down in the one of the sets that he won against Andy. Breaking like a god isn't he? he is. How's his opener? Probably got to be reds. Is it worth perhaps playing um, sort of carom shot, the billiard from the to pot the yellow in the in the left centre? So play the cue ball off the red. Uh, I can I can see why. Yeah, I, I, it's a bit brave for me. It is. I just that red, the red on the cushion is not so bad because you. You can make that into a plant with the one down the side, but the one near the double it maybe. I think I think the opening. I think he's playing so well with his hand on the table. You kind of got to go reds and back yourself to figure a way out around this. Oh wow! Well. He feels like he's took a turn there. Feels like that's rolled a little bit. It's a test for Jake. It's a good to time to miss. <laughs> to let his head go. Yeah. Looks angry. It does. It feels like it's um he feels like the table has betrayed him there by the looks of it. Yeah, it can happen. I mean we've seen enough shots roll dead weight on this table to know it's a very level table, but now and again. Now and again. Might just take a little turn. Maybe he was playing it into the far side of the far side of the jaw anyway. left Gaza red so yellows it is and I mean the the obvious problem is the yellow to the left of that racking line there but you can see his plan for that already it yes yeah, easy enough to land on that as a plant to the middle so yeah if he also lands on this back cushion he could play the yellow off the red to open the pocket up yeah he's got options Oh, so playing or he can just land corner. on it. <laughs> it's very good. Slightly hampered queuing, maybe. I think it's just far enough down the table. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, now then. Oh, wow. It's Gareth Hibbert's turn to throw in a bit of a wobbler. I don't think he's left much though. <laughs> Very little. A cut plant into the middle. Slightly hamper queue and he doesn't miss that. He doesn't miss that if he's not queuing over the red. Yeah, the cut plant is probably the shot. He hasn't got much else. Maybe could he could maybe pop can. the left hand one up to the top right and if it doesn't go in he might get the pocket. That's what he's gone for. That's terrific. Wow, Jake. 
What a shot. That's a stunning pot. I mean, but look how clever it was as well. Let's say it didn't go in and he covers the pocket. He's left Gareth nothing. Very, yeah. very clever shot. Yeah, just, just. I mean, the cut back, I would argue, Gareth, Gareth would probably make. It's a pool player shot, though, isn't it? A clever. Yeah. Clever little shot there from Jake, but still not out of the woods yet. I don't know if this red can just squeeze past the yellow into the left middle off the jaw, off the knuckle. No, I also, again, I'm going to say it. Skill shot. It's. I think it's doable. If you get right behind it, it's, it's probably not that difficult at it's, all, actually. Yeah, because you don't have to hit that one absolutely flush on. You can hit it, hit the yellow slightly into the jaw, mm. and the red will still follow through. Yeah. Um, so you've got a bit of margin for error, but equally, that yellow is quite close to the jaw, so you don't want to double kiss it out. We're about to find out what he's going to do. No, shot. We could get it out. It's perfect. Shot, shot, Plenty shot. Room. Now then, Jake, does that... He'd love for that red to go past into the bottom right corner pocket. The fact that he's walked round to look at it and walked back tells me it doesn't. No. So um. now... Positional shot to play. Swing it round off two cushions. Need to stay away from that black. Yeah, that's Punched the one. It off one. Just run a little bit far, has it? No, he's it's just fine. about. That's a great shot. That's a great piece of queuing. Again, you can play it off the side cushion. Doesn't want to be hampered, though. Oh, I think he's just got away with that. Yeah, I'd agree. This is makeable. You can just about. I don't think it's an in-off, but it's not far away. Oh, we can just about queue to the bottom of the cue ball. Very helpful, that. Margins. Tiny margins. If, yeah. if, he, if he's just a, a, a half an inch to the right of that, he can't queue to the bottom of the ball, the in-off's potentially on. He's in all sorts of trouble. They both missed one in that frame, though. It wasn't... It wasn't quite the standard we've come to expect. Now, it's obviously you're going to get the odd miss in a match of this length. It's mm. bound to happen. Yeah. But, um, Jake Newlove won the first set by four frames to nil. He might have the opportunity to do the same in set six. And if he wins one of the next four, we're going to a decider. Let's face it. That's what 99% of us want. Even if you're a Gareth Hibbert fan, there's a sick part of you that wants to see Gareth just win it in a decider in one of the greatest finals you've ever seen. Yeah, everyone wants a decider. Yeah. We're actually rattling through this match as well. It's quarter past 11. Not bad going. It's been some match. Frame four. Gareth Hibbert to break. Trailing three frames to nil. Time running. Hell of a smash. The power he's got into that. Just having a look at that yellow. Next to the red. Um, see whether it goes in the right middle. I think it probably does, but it is awkward to get onto. The red doesn't go anywhere, so it's forced into yellows. Yeah, if the red are just above the white wasn't where it was you probably see him you might see him play it now anyway actually just just slightly more difficult but trace the left hand side and bump into this but that's perfect well i say perfect the cannon was very good but he's, he's kind of come a little bit in between in between he's not quite perfect on any of these balls now still got a shot a couple of cuts into either middle That cue ball was tracking towards the top left corner. It stayed out. Yeah. But what has it left Gareth Hibbert? Well, he's almost overcut that as well because it, 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 he's potted that very thin into that middle pocket. Yeah, far too thin. Lost the white a little bit. and The end result is he's in 
He's in a world of pain here. This is a bit of magic coming out. It looks like he's uh That's not the one. That's not magic. That's not the one and look. Jake's got a bit of a thin snick on this red into the left corner pocket, but he's got the angle to go into the other one. It's on the side cushion. If this comes out well, this could be 4 0 in this set. It could be set over. It's um It's worth noting see, I, I I'm with you on that, but I think he's not playing that because actually, as long as he lands behind that ball. Yeah. He's got a guaranteed next red available. Yeah, 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 look. So look, these top players um, don't like to go into balls when they don't have to. He had that option, but he's studied the table, seen that he can just land on this. Um, and he's going to back himself to make this one down the cushion. Probably would have liked to touch more angle here. Just yeah. So he could get off the cushion next shot. True. It's perfect, though. Oh, that's actually played so well. That little stun run through. Yeah. Because now he doesn't need to be off the cushion because he's left himself low on this red, which means he can just push the cue through the ball and land somewhere s sort of adjacent to the right centre pocket in that area, just like that. Yeah, it doesn't want to be straight. No, and he's perhaps a little bit straight, but he could just run this through and take it. Take Staying the last red to the top he'll left. Just, he'll just hammer this. Confidence there. Still a bit thin on this, but tracer, tracer left maybe. Yeah, almost, almost left or right. Just anything but plain ball. Yeah, he's perfect. He's perfect. This is going to be the second set in this final that Jake Dillon Newlove has won four nil. He is not going down without a fight. Into a deciding set. Deciding set. It's what Go. we wanted. It's what everyone always wants. Yeah. What a great final this has been. Great final. And Jake Newlove. Well, yeah, if he well. hadn't silenced the critics after the first set, then surely he has now because... Yeah. I mean, if there are any critics left... Such a great performance. Seal is uh, just looks so calm and focused, doesn't he? Dean Shields keeps looking over his shoulder. Apparently, he towards the commentary box. Actually, no, I think about? he no, he, he ordered he wanted a Nando's, um, but he ended up just ordering some cheap version from a Perry Perry shop instead. Ah. That's why he, why he rolls. I think he's waiting for that to get delivered. I'd better be careful not to spill that on his Armani. Yeah, yeah, because he's only got four of them left. Yeah, left to go. It it better get changed before he eats that. Probably. Scores tied, three sets all. This is the seventh and final set. Gareth Hewitt to break. Time running. Needs a ball. Needs a ball. It's almost. I mean. Given the experience, you would say that Gareth's still slight favourite oh, for this match. Oh, this is exactly what Gareth Hibbert wanted to see. Look at this. He just seems to have a knack, doesn't he, Gareth, when he really needs it, of finding a big break. Just has a knack. Um, it's a beauty as well. I mean, they're not... They're not absolute sitters. You got right. The yellow on the, on the right-hand side is a bit awkward, but then... If you land right behind it, you don't have to do anything because you've got the yellow to the left into the opposite centre. True, and um, looks like he's going reds, actually. Yeah, I, can I can see the route, actually, now. Yeah, same. Is that to slow up? That's perfect. That is perfect. I think he'll leave these three reds in the bottom of the table to his last three balls. Although he is perfect on it now. I was going to say, it, he wants to be exactly where he is now in mm. two shots time. Yeah, yeah, so...
Has he gone too far? He's gone too far, you know. That is, by Gareth Hibbert standards, a howler. It is, because he... Do you know what? He's got such a margin there. He can land anywhere between... Basically just past where he's landed and, what, a foot over? I can't believe that. Thin cut. Thin cut into the left corner. Thin cut into the left corner and it's there and it's beautiful oh and it's wow. brilliant and it's... Oh. What, what a shot. What a shot. Does the red pass onto this bottom right corner pocket? I think it does. I'm 99% I'm certain it does. And again... <laughs> <laughs> That's wow. Do you know what? That shot doesn't get Garner a round of applause, but it was almost as good. I think there was a mini ripple in the crowd. Oh, that That's going to hurt Jake. That's going to hurt him more than if Gareth just cleared up yep. with the white on a string. What a little statement that is. First frame of this deciding set. Gareth runs out of position and then pulls this out of the bag. That's a stunning pot. Great shot. Actually played it really delicately as well. Bottom and uh, bottom and left hand side. That one too was it. It really wasn't easy to get on that red. That it was kind of the most awkward angle you could have. You got to sort of push it through. Yeah, like a stun run through, sort of. Yeah. Trace the right hand side. Played it to perfection. What a match this is. What a match. These two competitors have provided us with some <laughs> spectacular Saturday night entertainment. It's not Three over yet. Jane, you love to break. Training one frame to nil. Time running. That cue ball was close the first time and it was closer the second time, but it stayed out. Is that a little bit of luck he needs? A little bit of run of the ball that you need. I mean, all right, he didn't go straight enough in the middle, but he was very close. And sometimes you kind of feel like, I don't know, is he name on the trophy and stuff like that? <laughs> That's an early, early shout. <laughs> Got an angle well, here. Got an angle here, yeah, to go into That's the bad reds. Bad area. Off the eight ball. Oh, that oh. is an absolute dream. That could not have come out Jake. any better. I mean, that that is pretty much exactly what he played. I mean, he played that cannon perfectly. You are trusting a little bit to luck, obviously, exactly how it's going to come out. But he oh, deserved that outcome. Yeah, yeah. He's played every part of that. Yeah, yeah. he deserved that outcome. He is not going away. Jake, if you want to win this, Gareth, with all your experience, you're going to need to bring your very best. Because Jake is going nowhere. Just this is slightly fiddly one into the centre pocket. And that is, yeah, this is a dream. Perfect. Perfect. Textbook pull that. Broke off, made a ball, had a problem area, went into it straight away. Wins in the frame. Executes his cannon to perfection. And got what he deserved. How good has this game been? What a final. We've gone from a best of seven sets. To a best of five frames for a world title. These two cannot be separated so far. If any of you want to follow us on TikTok, the account is set up, up and running. IPA Pool Tour. There'll be a lot of new stuff coming this, this season. You're a TikToker, Dan? TikTokaholic, is that a thing? My kids are TikTokers. 
are they? Yeah. You'll have to get involved. I've got a TikTok account, but I kind of... I get sent things, and now and again I'll watch it. Normally stuff to do with food. You know. Do love a food TikTok. Yeah, say. yeah. It's hard to it's hard to stop watching when you put you start. Doesn't have make you hungry. It does. Yeah. Frame three. Gareth Hibbert to break. Score tied one frame all. Gareth Hibbert Five is break. hungry for a ball off the break. He needs one. He usually gets what he wants. Is he going to this time? Is he going to this time? No. Well, well, well. Look at these as well. Look at these. If he goes reds, he's just got one, one red to land on it. It's not really that difficult either. Nope. For Jake. Can he play it now? I was going to say it's, he's he's maybe. almost got the perfect angle now. I think if the cue ball was maybe two inches further right. Yeah, he'd play it now, but. Looks like he's going to play this one in the corner first. Smooth, such a smooth cueist. Now is he is he going to play the one he's closest to to the right centre? I think it passes. Right. Playing the the further one to the right centre first. Yeah. Whatever he does, the key to this frame is all about how he attacks that red top right corner of the table yeah a couple is. of things you want to guard against and uh, there's, a, there's a couple of different ways there that you could be slightly hampered queuing especially as a right hander could cause you some issues punch over towards it but he hasn't quite so it's just gonna probably land on this one last not gonna play it now is he surely not no you wouldn't think so bit of I mean you could bit of, yeah bit of drag bottom right hand side could play it now if he was closer to it he would oh yeah yeah but he has got the perfect angle to get on it it's just like you say you play, he's playing it now no. Drag and bottom right. He's got a little bit of insurance where if he does miss it. Oh, well, he's played it. He's played it that way and it's superb. Played it firm. Played it firm and. I think he's played it as the big pocket. Yeah, he used the yellow to do it. It's a great shot. He's slightly out of position though. What's he going to do with the cue ball? Is he going to take it over to the right hand side of the table? Can he dig into it enough? I feel like he could just go off the top rail here and go in dig behind in. those yellows, but this can go wrong. It's great. That is, that is great. Yeah, that's that ideal. He, he'd have loved to have gone a little bit further, but... He's straight on it down the... Straight he, down on it. If, if the pocket's in your eye line, you shouldn't be missing these. It's there. Smooth as you like from the butcher. 2-1 up. He was 3-1 down in sets and 2-1 down in the set. Staring down the barrel. Yep. He's in the zone. He is. I mean, the, the momentum shift in this game from Gareth to Jake has been unbelievable. He's just upped it a notch when it's mattered most. He's just... He's done the opposite of throwing the towel in. He's gone, right, I'm going to I'm gonna bring it. Here's the thing, though. Yeah. For the first time in a long time, Jake Newlove is now the favourite. He's ahead. And the pressure shifts. He's ahead for the first time since the first set. But not only is he ahead, he's, two he's frames got the brakes left. He's got he's breaking next. If this break goes well, in theory, he's one frame away. Well, this game now is out of Gareth Hibbert's hands. Yep. If Jake clears off both of his breaks, and Jake's cleared off thousands of breaks in his life. He's world champ. It looks calm. Frame 
frame four. Jake New loves to break. Leading two frames to one. Time running. Needs to stay away from that middle like he did last frame. That one's better. It's a good connection. Nothing down though. Nothing down. Wasn't because he didn't hit them well enough. He no. hit them good. No, that's. That, I mean, it's a, it's the it's the cruelty of Paul, isn't it? Because yeah. he's actually hit those better than his last break. He's hit them so well. He's controlled the cue ball well, but he has left Gareth a messy table. Oh yeah. But one good shot here, and I think he's lining it up already. He's got a big pocket to the right centre for a yellow. If he uses that big pocket, he's got a lovely angle to go into those reds. And just see what happens. Be unlucky not to still be in control because of the yellow near the pocket. He's taking his extension, just having a extra little study. Well, I don't come out. I'm not sure we're going to know from here. Well, I don't. Th I so I think it's lot. come out all right. In it goes now. I think the plant will go now. I don't know. I just don't think he's on it yet. I think he could take the middle one first. He's looking at playing it with side. I'm not sure he's sure. You need to be sure to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. Just it went. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Played that rakes aside to sort of straighten the angle. And now he's in absolute pole position. He is, he is. Brave little shot to play. He felt a bit rushed actually from the clock there, but... He's here, he need, needs to get out. He can't just get out and play, play on this red yellow into the left middle. He needs to leave himself some sort of angle to get back across. So he's, he's probably going to have to force this. So... Um, the angle he's got, maybe twice across. We'll use the side cushion and come back over to the right hand side of the table. That's what I mean. He's looking at maybe leaving himself a thin cut there, but well, I, I think that's on. I think the uh, well, the it, yellow in the middle of the table will go right centre. Well, it, 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 it can. It's just if he leaves it too thin, is he going to be able to hold the white? Yeah, I think this is fine. I don't think this is too thin. No. Um, just iron up exactly where he wants to be, though. This is where he can't be too thin. If he's playing this as a plant, then this he's the got problem. no margin for error. You, you want to be straight on this next shot. Yeah. You, you, you don't want to be playing this thin because you're going to be losing the white. You can... Running out of time as well. You can be slightly further left on the table because then you're pushing the cue ball towards the side rail. So this is okay... Well, can he, has he got the gap? If he's got the gap, maybe he can play the first one now and just play a slightly more difficult pot. No, he's, don't looking, think at so. the, he's looking at the plant, but it's, 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 can you hold the white? Can you hold the white? If you play it absolutely dead weight, then you don't necessarily need to. If he pots it thin, though. Yeah, yeah, and I, he's no, losing I agree. The it's, got, it, it's got to be a full contact. Delicate little shot. There's the contact. Great. Oh, how good is Great that? Great shot. Way better than it looks. How Way better than good it looks. is that? <laughs> Horrible. Not, not quite straightforward to get on the eight ball either. I mean, is Thank he going to just pop it into the black and take the eight long? Can he screw through the gap? There is a gap. Oh, there's a gap. <laughs> there's the gap. And that is a shot and a finish that is rightly appreciated by this fantastic crowd. That's amazing. That's such a good finish. Under these circumstances, that is such a good finish. Two two. Jake would have been three set three. There. Throughout that whole clearance, just thinking, I'm going to get a go. I'm going to get a go in, and no, nobody's perfect. Everyone makes mistakes, and this is a tricky little layout. I might get a go here. They didn't. Best to three now. I think we saw Dean Shields' appreciation there. Yeah, that yeah, shot. yeah. 
hope there's no lip readers in the building. Frame five, Gareth Hibbert to break. Scores tied, two frames all. Done what running. a final this has been. <laughs> it's up there with the very best. It needs a decider. It needs a deciding frame, doesn't it? Smash on that. And a red ball. flying in. That's made one. The black's tied up. Oh, the eight ball's really tied up. But the rest of the table, not too bad. So... The reds aren't too bad. I think I think it's yellows because he's got that yellow on the top rail. There's a big pocket for that, so you can, you can nudge that out of the way. And I just think the yellow is a better place to attack the eight ball. Mm. Well, if he can if he can play this, just I don't know. Is it? I mean, they say get into your work early, but I don't think he can quite get there, boy. See an argument for both. The eight ball. Into the cushion, just graze the yellow out of the way. Well, that's not that bad if that yellow goes. Uh, I think it goes. It's just he probably wants to play this at a bit of pace, so it, it, he doesn't have a full pocket, definitely. Um, that's obvious, but... And the yellow that he's closest to now, a little bit awkward. There's an argument that you could cut that in from where he is now. If he's right behind this, he'll pot this 10 out of 10, but he's got to play it at pace. You know, to the fa to the point where he's decided not to play that at pace. And so he's going to go into the black from... Yeah, I like this. See, yeah. I like this shot. Yeah. Because the three... I don't think the three yellows in the bottom of the table are covering each other. I think the right-hand one right. definitely goes. Just good sh shows as well. Like One of the things that's hard to do under pressure is to think clearly, especially when you're under time constraints. He's definitely thinking clearly out there, Gareth. Yeah, so good is angle. A great angle. Yeah. The only thing is, it's, it's, it's quite hard to to see that the black's going to really come out. You know, if you catch the black sort of half ball, it's probably going to probably going to flick the red out of the way, but it's still going to be on the cushion. Half ball's the best. That's good. That's a great contact. Really good. Did come out, but he caught it a full ball. Yeah, they caught it sort of somewhere between full ball and three quarter ball. I mean, he's basically played it to perfection. I don't know that this shot has an absolutely full pocket either, as well. So if he's got to play this with pace to hold the cue ball, I oh know it does. It flies in. Ignore me. Let's put that yellow on the back cushion, though. Yep. He's not out of the woods yet. Far from it. If he, if he gets the cue ball somewhere near where it is now. Roughly halfway between where it is now and that yellow yep. on the back cushion. Probably wanted that's to be a, a bit, bit closer than that. Yeah, that's straight. That's this is too straight, I think. But it's okay. He can. He can. He, he's just not going to be able to run at the centre of the table like he wants to. Thinner would have been better though. Definitely. Yeah. A and a lot closer to the yellow. It's a big shot. Already used his extension. Go close to the red here, you would think. He's screwed out. Oh my word! What a shot this is. How's it going to come out? I don't think that goes. I it? think it does. The yellow from a very similar angle went past it. I don't think it's impossible, but I think this goes. Well, he hasn't got a full pocket. No, that's for sure. How do you like this? Three, three, two, two. World final. Played it off the red, and it's not dropped. Off the cushion, off the red, and it's still on the table. A bit more drama in this frame. Just a bit. He hasn't left Jake anything easy. He's got a long plant, a double, a horrible cut back into a blind pocket. He somehow... He somehow... Okay, yeah, has he left nothing here? Has he left nothing easier than this with those reds on the table? And he's got cover on the pocket. Jake, what are you made of? Huge shot. 
That is unbelievably good. Well, that's an incredible shot. He's got the angle now, has he? He's got the angle now to play the red into the right middle, bottom and left hand side. Get into it early, no? Unless he is actually leaving that for a skill shot because it is right in the heart of the pocket. It is. It is about as easy as they come. It is. And the thing is, if you try and play into that, you are risking losing the frame early. That's a showstopper. That's a showstopper. <sighs> it's worth considering, isn't it? That's the sort of shot I think Jake likes to play. You can hear a pin drop out there. Yeah, it's not been like that all the way through, has it? And all of a sudden... Even Dean Shields has shut up. He's doing it. Doing it. He's doing Going it. For it's it. so important. If you get right behind this... It's quite an easy it's shot. It's actually not hard. Right. Um, if you about. leave yourself a cut... This is actually the harder shot of the two. The magnitude gets more difficult. This is perfect. Oh, he'd like an extra roll or two. Uh, well, yeah, okay, he would, but this is fine. How do you like this? To bring the house down. Nailed. Oh, Absolutely wow, Absolutely nailed. That is perfection. That Jake. is how you play the skill shot. Jake. Nerves of steel. Jakey, Jake. That is how you play that shot. That is textbook. It was never in doubt, was it? No. What a finish. You saw that. He played it with a bit of bottom. The the red after contact with the black actually sped up and oh, went into the it, pocket. It couldn't have followed the black in the pocket quick enough. No. I think the shot there, though, that was probably the most difficult one of the of the frame was the the long plant the long plant the first one that's a, just an astonishing piece a of lot of distance a yep. lot of distance between the two well if anyone wondered whether jake had the bottle for this frame six yeah, yeah that's forget been about answered. that that's yeah. been well and truly answered now can he have a bit of luck off the break Cue ball safe. There's balls down. He's got a He's red got and a yellow. One of each over the pocket. The eight ball is a bit awkward. But you've got a chance. You've got a chance. chance at the world title. He's taken out much easier clearances than this this week, but he's also taken out more difficult ones. He has, but <laughs> if the red wasn't over the bottom left corner, I'd say yellows. But it is. <laughs> I think reds might be the shout. I think the reds all go. You don't need to dislodge anything if you go reds. You are going to need. Where are you taking the red next to the eight ball? Into the middle, I guess. I think it goes. It's tight. I think it maybe just just goes. It's very tight. That. It's a horrible, nervy little shot to play when. You might not have a full pocket, but I, I reckon that goes, you know. It's just all going to be about how he gets on it. If he can land himself right behind it and use it as his last ball to get onto the black. It'd be his route to being a world champion. I feel nervous for him. The whole room's completely silent. Figuring out his route. This is not easy. And it's not getting easier. It's not. The only thing I can see, if, if he can get close to this red on the right hand side of the table, get on it now, get on it next. Yeah. He could, he 
you play it and um, it's going up table a bit normally. I was going to say you could play it and maybe bump the black out. That was such a horrible shot to play. He's actually perfect here. That red. He's played that really well. If you're saying that red goes in the middle, I'm saying that's so tight. I think he might be playing that as a double. Well, if at the start of the week you gave him these three balls and said, look, that's for, that's for your world title. Yeah. He can't get close to it now. No. He needed to be straighter, so maybe. I maybe, think it's the double. Maybe it is going to be the double. If he was dead straight, he might be able to get right behind this, but he's just slightly overdone that. I don't know what his plan was. Maybe he was playing on the double all along. We'll ask him after. Well, is he, has he gone too far here? So maybe. Is he playing this into the centre pocket? This is so touchy. And it's not guaranteed that he's getting on the eight ball. Looks like he's about to get straight down on it. He's not going cushion first, is he? Don't oh. like this. If Unless he's actually going off completely, he, he's got to hit the sort of yellow, almost three-quarter ball. No, that's not there. That's not there. I don't think that was ever going to go in. I, I think he caught it too thick. I don't think it was impossible, but wow, that's his chance. Gareth, we still don't know if it went. We don't, and we never will. We never will. Oh, I'll ask him. You'll after. ask him afterwards, of course, but maybe not immediately after if he doesn't <laughs> win this final. <laughs> <laughs> Gareth Hibbert's not out of the woods. The black's on the side cushion. The, the where the red has finished is a massive bonus for Gareth because he can attack that eight ball. I, I say this, it looks to me as if that red is just slightly jawed. So, I don't think Jake would be able to pot it into the top right. Mm. Um, so, when Gareth, if Gareth gets down to the eight, it takes the pressure off him a bit. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty convinced that it's, it, it won't go up the rail, that red. shouldn't matter really. No, it shouldn't. Because Gareth should get these. All of a sudden those beeps sound really loud. It's the quietest this room has been for a week. Yep. It's probably the most people we've had crowded around this match table all week. Big shot this for Gareth. Feels it anyway. He's got to come back up table. Okay, he's gone. Needs to get needs to get a good angle on this. Yeah, this isn't this isn't perfect. You don't want to be leaving the black down the cushion at distance. He's just eyed up there exactly where he wants to leave himself. Nailed it. Lovely shot that. Under the pressure, that's a great shot. Yeah, he's a little bit far from the yellow. I don't know yes. just how much he can get into it. I think I think the angle's fine. He's a bit tight on this side cushion. He's not. He's not. No, but I still I still say where that red is is the worst it could have been for Jake. Yeah, but it doesn't even look like it. Takes a bit of pressure off this. Yeah, not that you would know there was pressure on it. That is a fantastic shot from Gareth Hibbert. All calm, collected. Three, 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 three. All the threes. Which means there is one more frame of pool left. Whatever happens, one of these two incredible players will be crowned the 2024 IPA World Champion in just one frame of pool's time. Seeing Jake there just grimace a little bit, obviously still thinking about chance he had there. He'll have a sleep this night if Gaz break dishes. I think he'll have a sleep this night if he wins. Oh, 100%, yeah, but well. for different reasons. Probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. 
What a match this has been. It's had everything. Everything. Even Popeye's come out to watch it at the background. Robert's head's been replaced with a trophy. <laughs> he looks good. Dean Shields is thinking I've been here before. Final. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cruel. <laughs> that took me a second. <laughs> good job, we're friends. Yeah, that's... Wonderful to see the handshake. A big round of applause from this capacity crowd here. Has it ever been a more important break in his life? Massive. He's hit the well. Perfect. The cue ball is safe. He's made a ball. Ah, it's not done, is it? No, it's not done. Do. But if you had to put a tenner on whether Jake Dillon New Love is going to come back to the table, I'd be putting my tenner on Gaz. I probably would as well. Probably would. I don't know if he does. He want yellows? I think yellows are maybe easier, but he's he's so close to that first yellow. That's a horrible first little shot, shot to play. Yeah. Decider of a world championship. You don't want to be playing a jabby little shot like that, do you? No, so easy to foul. Yeah. The Reds, if he wants to go Reds, he's got the angle to disturb his little cluster. If he needs to, he can pick him off, I think. Frame's far from over. This isn't nice. No, it isn't. Not at all. He's obviously got to play this uh, red into the right middle. He's got a fairly small margin to be able to land over on this right hand side cushion. And he's got a cue on up the up the cushion. Oh, he's, he's gone through the gap. Ignore me. That's a great shot. Ignore That's me. a great shot. Do you take the yellow, uh, the red on the balk line now and, and bump the yellow out of the way to make life easier for yourself? Or do you take the one on the rail when you're this nicely on it? There's an argument for both. He needs to get... The thing is... He needs now? He needs, needs to leave himself an angle to get back up the table. He would have loved if he could have played that a bit more pace or caught that yellow a little bit thinner and brought the white over to the right hand side of the table so he's right behind this one it would have been much easier he's not out of the woods yet he's not. he could be in a couple of seconds time that's a good shot that's a really really good shot delicate little positional shot yeah and i think yeah look at that angle look at that ang it can't it couldn't be better i mean he's, he's he stuns down the table and he's got half the table to play with a huge margin of error now it's there. This is it. He knows. He knows it. That is such a rare show of emotion from Gareth. Never see it? that from Gareth, but who's going to begrudge him it? He deserves it. Going to become the first two-time IPA world champion. Absolute legend of the game. Legend of the game. Congratulations, Gareth Hibbert. Commiserations, Jake Newlove. One of the all-time great matches of pool ever a stunning performance from both players and it's gareth hibbert who is the 2024 ipa professional world champion how's his hand not shaking drinking that water oh, I, so I, pumped I, i'd have broken the glass i think just so it pumped up. like and and that out that outburst of emotion that you know the moment he knew yep it's just got nerves of steel, hasn't he? The delicate little touchy little shots. 
under the, 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 the most pressure you can ever be under and he just nails it every single time when it matters most. Yeah, that was a phenomenal finish from Gareth Hibbert in the deciding frame. And now we're about to hear from the man himself. We're going to head over to the arena for the trophy presentation. Wow, I'm really not sure how much more I can even take on this. And, uh, well, I hope all the audience at home loved it, because I know this lot behind me did, didn't you? <laughs> of course, there has to be two players to play in such an epic final. And uh, please, one more round of applause for Jake Dillon Lulov and Gareth Hibbert. <laughs> Jake. Please come up, just have a few words. You weren't far away from uh, picking up a world title, but surely you've got to be so proud of what you've achieved this week. Eight matches you've played. You must have played over 200 frames. Surely, really, really proud. Yeah, really happy with it. Um, probably played the best game I've played in the final, to be fair. Um, but credit to Gaz, uh, just bringing me back every time. <laughs> and 3-1 down, you know, did you think you were dead and buried? I'm not sure where you find the energy from to continue to you know, deliver such a high standard to put Gareth under pressure, because when he lost that four set 4-0, four we were thinking, oh God, there's going to be a real good turnaround here. It's the good thing about the set format, you can just reset every time. Um, just taking out a big finish to get to the 3-2 and then Anything can happen from there, really. you just got to take your chances when you can. And a little bit about your partner. I know he's uh, one of the seniors around here, but he just seems to be doing it time after time after time. He had a great season last season. Any words about him? Uh, I think that first set I poked the bear. Um, he just come at me after that. Uh, as soon as he got his break going, he was hard to beat. Uh, just credit to him. He deserves it. Well, you've played your part in an absolute epic final, so well played to Jake Dillon Newlove, everybody. <laughs> Gareth, please step up to the table. The Godfather, Gareth Hibbert, back in the room, back in wow, winning world titles. How does that feel? Amazing. Yeah, I thought it was gone. Jake just feel punch drunk to be honest, I don't think anyone's ever broke that well in the history of pool, it was just unbelievable. I think he had one dry and he was having great layouts and I just had to start breaking well to even stay with him. It's just, uh, I, I, I don't think I got one chance off his break really, apart from the odd one where he might have missed on the finish, but yeah, it was, uh, I thought it was gone. I couldn't see the shot he had, I know he tried to play it in off my ball, I didn't know if he could just dribble it in and he's tried to move the black and I thought just give me a chance in the desire once I've got them. And I know at half time, me and Dan David was talking about the way that both of you broke. It was like a dish fest out there. Mm. You was just going blow to, to blow. Yeah. You, what, have you been in a boxing match? Uh, feel like it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just a little bit about Jake. Obviously, he's had to play eight matches. He's been here since Tuesday. I'm not sure if you've n noticed. Is he part of the furniture now? That's his own fault. He could be pro <laughs> if he wanted to be. <laughs> <laughs> But overall, truly, truly proud of your performance, I'm sure you are. Yeah, yeah, just, just credit to Jake, he's played outstanding, I don't think, um, he just kept coming back at me, it was, it was impressive, and just, so once I had two balls over the pocket, I thought I'll let it go here now, I can, uh, I fancy getting these. And <laughs> you really give it some emotion, because really that does show how much it really means to you. Yeah, because I think at two all, at three two up, I got kicked in off, and you think, and then he's run away with the next set, I'd, gone a little bit, played a couple of loose ones and then he just, I knew I'd play well in the last six, I fancied it, but just, you want the chances and I missed the black in here and he's pulled out a great finish. I thought that might be me done. And now you're going to become a two-time winner of this world title. Is that what you really set out to do when you set, when you yeah, pack your case year, Mark, or yeah. when we've packed your case, whichever one it was? No, no, I think I managed that. Yeah, it's what you practice for. It's a good time of year for me because I work outdoors and it rains a lot at this time of year, so I get a bit of extra table time. So it's uh, thank the fella up there for, for raining and giving me some extra practice. And a little bit about the audience. They've been absolutely fantastic tonight, haven't they? Yeah, it's great to play in front of a crowd. It's, I've got a couple of lads come down from Southport, Viv always there, and it's just, uh, yeah, it's been great. Well, Gareth, it's time to present you with a trophy. 
and I can now warmly present it to you because you are the pure organics drinks IPA world champion <laughs> all I can pretty much say. Two finals, two deciding frames and uh, wow, an absolute exhibition of Paul. We'll be back tomorrow, back at one o'clock. Good night from all of us and all of this great crowd behind us. Good night. Good night.